How about that? Now I got sound? I have sound, right? And then desktop audio. Yeah, okay. Okay. Thanks for the heads up. All right. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. OBS just wasn't using my microphone for the input. Sometimes I guess things happen. Uh Okay, so here's the deal. Here's the situation rep, all right? Uh, I spent maybe six hours trying to get around the quest lock that we all saw yesterday. The one in the GNN office where we just couldn't... We just couldn't <laughs> move past the boardroom meeting. I, I figured out how. Uh, it took me hours and hours to try to get this far, but uh, the way to do it was to use the City Planner holotape and the skip quest. The problem was, if I skipped past that quest in the GNN building, it really didn't matter. Because if I went to save, infinite loading screen. If I went to walk out any door, through any door, anything that required a loading screen, infinite. If I tried to fast travel out of the building, infinite lock. So I could skip the quest, but then the very next requirement, if it was in any other room besides the main GNN building room, I, I was just, it was done already. So that was an issue. Because the next thing I was supposed to do was meet Salvador in the basement. Can't go there. Uh, so, I went back to an earlier save. Played all the way back up to that meeting. Didn't change anything. So, uh, I s went back to Sanctuary. Skipped a couple of quests here, since I'm not stuck in the building, at least, after the quest. But, the problem is, if you take a look... Now I'm at a spot with Hostile Waters where I have to speak to Salvador, and he is in the GNN hangar, which I don't think I can get to without locking the, the game into an infinite feed loop. So, <laughs> hey, Ghost Hunter. So, I'm, I almost put out a message today that there would be no stream because this seems broken. Maybe unrecoverably broken. But I thought, you know what? Maybe together we can figure it out. Um, if I've got to unwind some of these um, quests I've skipped, so be it. And also, why do these, why do multiples of these cars keep loading here? Like, what's up, right? What's up with that? Okay, Sanctuary is now my home base. Because apparently in one of the quests I skipped, I was supposed to pick one. I don't know. I thought I turned Red Rocket into an outpost, but no, it's just a settlement. I don't know what's going on with that. And Yeah, I know, right? And, uh, and I don't actually know how to make armies and stuff work because I skipped the tutorials. So what we might... Mysterious offer of supplies. Okay, that's interesting, I guess. Um, what we might have to do is... I might have to show you what happens if I try to go to GNN. Because I can. I can go there. Ready? <sighs> we can go to GNN. We just probably, probably won't be able to leave. Or save. Or anything like that. Don't okay. worry. I won't be here long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're here, and everything really does function pretty normally. Um, you know, there's a few things I need to do. Like, uh, I need to, you know, rebuild the hangar a little bit. There are plenty of jobs that maintenance can do there. Um, I turned off infestations, but these guys are just here. They just loaded in... I don't even know how long ago, since I backtracked my whole save a while ago. And turned these off before I ever went here, but they, these mole rats are always here. They're glitchy, because they don't always even know that I'm shooting them. But they're always here.
I'm just gonna get rid of them so that there's one less thing complicating the situation, All right? not named the bloat flies we are named the rangers just so you all know okay i think that takes care of all of them hey john Telling you guys, pulling my hair out here. And since my mic wasn't on and probably nobody heard me, hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, Ghost Hunter, Fallout Boy, John, and, uh. And Dom sent us a message saying he wanted to be here, but he's got a problem with his internet at home, so. Sorry, guys. We might not have Dom with us today, but he'll be with us in spirit. Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, <laughs> do I need a Discord that bad? I guess I must. I guess I must. All right, Ghost Hunter. I mean, I, I guess I need one. Uh, okay, here we are. Hostile Waters, speak to Salvador. Oh, wait. Maybe he's not down in the hangar. Ooh, that would be lovely. That would be lovely, because if I don't have to walk through a door to talk to him, then we have a chance. Of course, I'll probably have to walk through a door to do anything else, but still, still, this will be progress. Let's see, see how it goes. Where is he? Okay, he's over here, perfect. Why is he shot? Hey. Hello again. Things have been progressing here at an Wh adequate pace. <laughs> Why With is just he me shot? working on decrypting the intel, it has been a laggard process. <laughs> However, I have enough for us to consider the next steps. How go your own efforts in fortifying and keeping our outpost supplied? Uh, terrible, terrible, because I had to skip all those efforts just to get this far. Anything else I can do to help? The stronger our forces, the more pressure we'll keep. I don't know how gunners. any of this works at this point. Lupe and Cassandra have advised on how to keep our outposts supplied and our wounded treated. There is still more to do, but we can discuss it once you are ready to proceed. Okay. Yeah, I've been pretty busy. Uh -huh. I believe the last step in dismantling the gunner stingray operation lies in the glowing sea. Uh -huh. The exact location will take longer for me to uncover, as I need the cross-reference with other intelligence reports to narrow things down. However, one thing is certain. We need our men ready. Not uh -huh. only for resistance from the enemy, but also for an extremely hostile environment. Uh-huh. Why? As you may already... What a stupid well, question that is. Human, I'm not even going to listen to the answer. There's a our troops will encounter combat. Mm -hmm. As such. So much could go wrong. It's too risky. I agree that there is higher margin for error than any previous battlefield we've conquered. However, we can overcome those odds with the right preparations. There are a number of things to attend to, but one will be of the utmost priority. That is, further training and specialization of soldiers. 
There are two ways for a soldier to improve effectiveness in combat. Training at the outpost and combat experience. That said, training can never replicate actual I can't battle. seem to figure out how to turn anything into an outpost anyway. I don't even know what's going on anymore in this game. need to put their skills to use in the field if they're to improve beyond that. Okay, great. This is great, I guess. Can only be built at an outpost. Awesome. Whatever. We could use some more veterans around here. Indeed. That is precisely okay. what I wanted to bring up next. There are several soldiers who have proved themselves in combat and are eligible no, to be promoted to higher ranking. This also enables them to carry specialized loadouts into the field. I've submitted proposals for possible specializations. Once they're approved, you can review and assign equipment to soldiers or make it rank wide at the outpost desk. Assuming they have the requisite experience. Who has played this, guys? Where do I start? The specialization has played their advantages. Who has played this? Mixed unit tactics if Dom's not here, I don't forward. know who to ask. However, given the nature of the glowing sea, I would recommend training a medic first. Okay, go so prove useful in keeping our troops rad count down. I don't know how to do well any of this. supporting them during the assault. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. Whatever. Uh... Let's not overcomplicate this. Simplicity has its merits. I leave it to your judgment. Okay. There are several other things I can think of that would ensure the best odds what in the upcoming, upcoming assault. assault. Oh my gosh. No, the fact that I had to I skip two quests just pressing. to not have to talk to him in the hangar because I can't means I don't know what's happening now. All right, all right. But make it quick. I'll endeavor to keep this succinct. To boost our soldiers' morale, okay. it may be worthwhile oh, to wow. so we're all inside our outposts. We're all Sim Settlements Chapter 3 noobs, huh? So I need to build Lastly, an outpost, clearly. Sure I just can't seem to figure out our forces how. Are occupied elsewhere. I recommend establishing watchtowers at our outposts. Okay. That's great. This may take time, but not at least, all of the things at least I'm getting some exposition this time. Success. It's up to you which preparations are worth the time and resources. Okay, I mean, at I least it's moving. I will update your holotape to include the additional information. I'll get in touch once I've pinpointed the exact location for the assault. One of my issues is... We very well may run into a problem anytime we have to leave this building. For any reason. It's, it's possible, right? Uh, so let's see. Oh, and the game has crashed. <sighs> Unhandled exception. Got an audio thing again. Okay. Oh, sorry, Ghost Hunter. Uh, I didn't see your note. Okay, come on, Vortex. All right, we're going to jump back in. It's really tricky to know what I'm supposed to do here, uh, because we have this one where I have skipped a couple of quests. We have let me see. we have this one. Uh, hang on, which is which? I don't even remember. This was yesterday, where we kept trying to come from the um, top of the Coast Guard pier, and go into the meeting from there, or from the castle, right? And then, let's see, looks like today what I have left are these saves. For some reason, these are the only ones left. Interesting, even though I hard saved other places today before this video. All of them are a few minutes apart. So, okay, sure, whatever. It is what it is. You know what was funny? After five hours of streaming yesterday, uh, 
all that save backtracking, all that reloading, it the game showed two hours of time. Like like my saves were two hours apart. <laughs> so that was three hours of backtracking. Three hours of playing this game that didn't even show up in the difference between my two save files for game time. <laughs> I mean, this playthrough shows almost, I mean, we're at five days, 17 hours, who knows what, right? And chances are we're way closer to the six day something mark. <laughs> and it's starting to feel like a lot. It's starting to feel like a lot. But, um, I didn't give up the mission. I mean, the game still loads. As long as I'm not trying to load a screen that has something to do with GNN. Like leaving it. Huh. Okay. Okay. I don't know how the outpost system works either. Hey, Goodman. You are just the man I need to see, Ranger Goodman, because I'm trying to figure out Sim Settlements 3. I had to skip a couple quests. Skip them. So that I could leave the GNN building at all. Or past that quest lock so I don't know how things work now that I skipped a couple quests and didn't get the tutorials uh, I don't know how they're supposed to work and I don't know how I don't know how to make them work <laughs> if they're broken I can't I don't know how to fix them and uh, if they aren't broken I just don't know what I'm doing so there we go Ranger Goodman I'm glad you're here I'm gonna need to ask advice as we go yeah Because I think you've played some Settlements 3, right? Oh, by the way, we called our group the Rangers. You weren't there for it, but we renamed our group about 500 times trying to get through that quest at the board meeting where we pick a name for our group. And uh, Rangers is what we wanted. It was the one we settled on first. It's the one I eventually stuck with. Like this. I mean, I turned Red Rocket into a settlement, but I tried to turn it into an outpost, and instead it's just a settlement. In fact, gosh, I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> got a few cars here. I believe... <laughs> hey, Ranger Goodman. Are you going to be able to help us? I love you too, by the way. And are you going to be able to help us with some settlements? Three questions, because I have questions. I'm heading back to Sanctuary because I'm going to set up one of the war planner desks here. Uh, what the? Carl Mead. I don't have time for side quests. I don't have time. Don't have time for Sim Settlements NPC side quests. I wish I did. But I have sunk basically two days now into just trying to make get past some of this these stages. Okay. Okay. Let's build ourselves a war desk. I think this Okay, thanks, NCR. I get that your knowledge is limited. I think possibly Something like this could help me out. I think Sturgis is my mayor here in town, or not, I don't even know. No. Oh, okay. Convert a similar to note. Activate the object on the desk with the manage empire prompt and choose change to... Oh, okay. Well then... Alright, well now at least I know. Nope. Nope, not trying to do that. Let's just scrap this one. And... Let's establish that we can fast travel. I think we can. I don't think we've frozen this up. So let's go... 
The red rocket shows this weird gunner symbol on it. It looks like it's a gunner outpost. It won't be one when I go there, though, I don't think. Right? I mean, no. It doesn't look like it. Okay. Here is, here's what we're going to try now. Come on. There we go. Yes. I do want it scrapped. Oh my. This is glitchy. Yes, please scrap the cooler. All right. I want... Uh, I want to put a war desk in this office. There. Perfect. Manage the rangers, yes. Change settlement type, make it a command post. Wait. Current type, outpost. Uh, so this is an outpost? Um, like, okay. I know that desk is crooked, I know. Uh, okay, so if this is an outpost, I should have some plot types available that are only available at outposts. And I don't see them. I don't see this. Okay. Outpost led by settler. View settlement modifiers. Um, good God, this is complicated or something. The war desk converts the settlement, so it automatically converts the settlement? Okay. Okay, the war desk... So I made the war desk, and now this is an outpost. Okay, so why haven't... By the way, this is the guy I had in charge. <laughs> Our NCR guy. Who I still don't know how to rename. Uh, but anyway. Doesn't matter right now. Doesn't matter. Uh, commercial found... Why does this still look so much like a settlement? Like, um... If this is an outpost, I should be able to build new things. They... Here. Uh, like, I should be able to build a jail, for example. It's a marshal post. I guess I might be able to, like, set up a martial plot and then convert it to a jail? After the fact? I honestly don't know. Okay, 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 okay. Let's try it. Let's try it. Is that powered? Probably not. There we go. Alright. And then we'll go here. Choose building plan. Prison. Okay, so I can make a prison, which means this is an outpost. And an armory. Okay. Uh, okay.
The group is named the Rangers, my friend. Okay. This is my first outpost that I'm messing with, so we'll just have to see what our possibilities are. Let's uh, let's try this again. Let's let's set up another one of these specialty things. Okay. Um. All right. Maybe maybe I'm catching on. I honestly don't know. <laughs> Come on. All right. Yes, scrap car. This is laggy. Not my favorite, but oh well. I don't want to scrap the bush. I can't scrap the guardrail. Can scrap this guy. Okay. Now let's see. Yeah, that works. I guess. Come on. There we go. Hey, huge happy grin. Okay, well, yes, but I'm st happy grin. I'm still trying to soldier through this thing. <laughs> I mean, all the same. <laughs> I want to get through it. Uh, all right, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and connect to the power. That always helps. And then we're gonna go tell this thing what kind of plot type we want. We want um, we're gonna try an armory because it's another one of the. Field Surgeon stage. Right. I mean, I don't know which one of these I'm supposed to be more into. Uh, okay, Field Surgeon. We'll do that. Um, right? Also, I guess I need to build some stairs, don't I? Oh, uh, so yesterday, in a big board meeting at the headquarters, uh, Salvador asked the group, uh, you know, Cedric and Jake and Aiden and Teresa and everybody what our name was. So we had to pick one, right? And there were a bunch of options, including like the bloat flies and some other ridiculous stuff, the Brotherhood of Steel, you know, some things I wasn't going <laughs> to pick. But one of our options were that was the Rangers, and that's the one we chose, and all of us thought you would really have been on board with that. Long story short. Hmm, wait. Actually, I'll go... Okay, yeah, sure. Wow, are those not big enough stairs? Sheesh. Alright. Hmm. I'm a little concerned about these stairs not being good enough, but here we'll just. From somewhere else. Okay, there we go. And then... Oh, wow. Nope, I need bigger stairs. I guess I do. Okay, so Rogue Paladin, thank you for joining us. You remember yesterday the annoying scene. So, what I did to get past the annoying scene was... I'll show you guys a very useful feature of Sim Settlements 2. And that is... In the miscellaneous department, there is a city manager holotape. Now, I thought this was just a redundant 
you know, second way to access the exact same menu as the um, mod manager, me you know, the mod menu that you can uh, drop down here. This mod configuration, I thought this menu that I can get Sim Settlements open to and this were the same. They're not. This holotape has a function that you can't find in the other thing. Under tools, you can go to cheats and you can go to quest skipping. Which I thought I did. I guess not. So, and under quest skipping, you can force complete the current main quest or skip ahead to a specific main quest. So, guess how I got past that annoying meeting? Yeah. Here's the deal, though. I had to skip not only that meeting, but my meeting with Salvador in the hangar that happens after it because I couldn't walk through that hangar door, infinite lock loading screen. I couldn't save, infinite lock. Uh, I couldn't fast travel out of the building, infinite lock. So I went all the way back to an earlier save before we ever met Salvador, walked all the way back up to that meeting, still glitchy by the way, no difference at all. So then I, uh, what I realized I had to do was <laughs> never go to the meeting. Walk up to the point where you're supposed to go to the meeting and then skip it from outside the GNN building so that you're not stuck in that building. Uh, unable to save or leave or walk through a door. And then skip the quests there. And that is what I've done. I have not been back to GNN. I skipped the quest to the point where now we're here. We're supposed to speak to Salvador, though. And he's in GNN, and that's probably going to be glitchy. But since he was going to show me a tutorial about how outposts worked, presumably, I've been trying to just sort of figure it out on my own. And then I'll go talk to him, I guess. I don't know. At this point, I'm, I feel so in over my head because I had to skip tutorials because, because of that quest glitching, you know, soft locking or whatever it did. So there we go. That's the situation. That's that's how we get to now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh So now I think I have to go speak to Salvador, but I'm a little bit terrified to do it because we will end up inside GNN where I am always stuck. I can save out here though. Like, it will save. It doesn't just lock up. In GNN though, it locks up. Yeah, I, I know Rogue Paladin. <laughs> Ranger Goodman, we knew you'd like the Rangers. We knew that. We kept voting for it. We thought maybe the glitch had something to do with picking the name, so at one point we let Jake pick and he said Commonwealth Custodians, and that was okay. But ultimately, since I didn't get to keep that save, I stuck with Rangers. All right, here goes, guys. We're going to go to the GNN HQ. We're going to try to talk to Salvador like we're supposed to, but honestly, at this point, I have no idea which end is up. I don't know what events I skipped past by force, you know, completing a couple of quests. I don't know if I irretrievably bugged the whole game because of it. But we can find Salvador here instead of... Oh good, he's not clutching his guts like he's hurt at least. Oh. Hello again. Things have been progressing here at an adequate pace. Okay, good. With just me working on decrypting the intel, it has been a laggard process. However, I have enough for us to consider the next steps. Okay. How go your own efforts in fortifying and keeping our outpost supplied? Terribly, man. Terribly. Yeah. I've been pretty busy. I believe the last step in dismantling the Gunner Stingray operation lies in the Glowing Sea. Okay. The exact location will take longer for me to uncover, as I need the cross-reference with other intelligence <laughs> reports to narrow things down. However, I don't know if you know the mod Happy certain. Grin, but uh, we, we had like a set ready. list of things to Not choose only from. For resistance and from the enemy, but also for an extremely hostile Ironically, we could have named this group the Minutemen or the Brotherhood of Steel or the Railroad or something or the Institute, but that would have been sort of silly. So much could go wrong. 
It's too risky. So I guess we're going to assault the glowing sea? I have, I have no idea what I missed. I just encountered. know that I had to force However, complete a couple quests or I would never right have left this building. There and we still might not. To we might try to leave and but one will be of the have it priority. shut down on us. That is, further training and specialization of soldiers. Mm -hmm. There okay. are two ways for a soldier to improve effectiveness in combat. Okay. Training at the outpost and combat experience. That said, training can never replicate actual battle. It will provide an edge initially, but troops will need to put their skills to use in the field if they're to improve beyond that. Yeah, I need this to work too. Okay, so here we have a new martial law building, uh, military training. I, I'll set up another um, outpost somewhere, maybe County Crossing or something. I'll just, I'll try to add to this whole outpost here. system the way they Indeed. want me to. That is I don't really know how it works, but uh, there are several I'll try. Who have proved themselves in combat. I probably need to start using the binoculars to, to target ranking. gunner settlements to retake them, I'm guessing. Into the field. Uh, I've submitted maybe if things don't freeze up here, maybe we'll go do that Once some approved, today, because they're taking more and more of my settlements, and it's, soldiers, or make it's looking rough. Wide at the outpost yeah, desk, thanks, Ranger Goodman. Assuming they have the requisite experience. What's COC, Happy Grin? Because if it means, like, walk out the door physically, walk out the this door instead of fast travel, I've definitely tried that. Um, Let's not overcomplicate this. That's, that's how I feel. has its merits. I leave it to your judgment. There are several other things I can think of that would ensure the best odds in the upcoming assault. Though, what I previously mentioned is the most pressing. Okay. All okay. Right, right. What? What? Make it quick. <laughs> I'll endeavor to keep this succinct. Uh huh. To boost our soldiers' morale, it may be worthwhile to build a mess hall inside our outposts. Okay. Okay, so we're getting new plot types. That's to cool. We do not leave openings for the gunners to strike. While Last time I got this far, it just shut down on us, though. So I recommend we'll see establishing what I mean. watchtowers at our outposts. Okay. Cool. Watchtowers. Yeah. Yeah. This may take time. But not all of the things we've discussed are necessary for success. It's up to you which preparations are worth the time and resources. Mm -hmm. I will update your holotape to include the additional information. I'll get in touch once I've pinpointed the exact location for the assault. Oh, console command. Okay, it hasn't locked. We Does your presence indicate a need for my assistance? Not really, dude. You've been super unhelpful, actually. Ever since you showed up, this entire thing has just been... ...really not working. But, hey, uh, guess what? Guess what, guys? This isn't broken right now. Okay, so, uh, I could try to save now, in here, in this building, but that's been a little sketch. I could try to transport somewhere else, but those loading screens have been just not ever happening, uh, in the past. Maybe now it will, maybe now it'll work. Uh, you know what? Maybe trying to save is the thing to do. Maybe we'll try to save. Maybe we'll... I'm just... I'm gonna quick save. Because last time I, tr I, I... I tried to hard save in here and it definitely locks up. So maybe a quick save. Come on. Rogue Pallet and I want to leave. I want to leave, but I probably can't. And if if we can't quick save here, I, I also probably can't leave. If this locks... Trying to walk out a door or fast travel will lock too. They all seem to be inaccessible at the same time as options. Honestly, I don't know. It was all working real well until Salvador showed up. It, it's it's all these cutscenes with him and all these new mechanics that his presence has introduced. Oh, no, no, I can't do anything right now.
Okay, well... This might just be, you know, our long quicksword... Quicksword. Our long quick save. You know, may maybe this will snap out of it. What is the console command for save? If, if somebody can tell me what it is, I'll use it. I've never had to use it before. It's, I've never had this much of an issue. Type save and and a name for the save. Okay. Oh, I, I can't bring up anything right now, guys. Uh, I can't I can't get console commands. Nothing. But yeah, okay. It brings up the save menu. Okay. Save one. All right. So, uh, I think maybe, I think maybe this one's a bust. Uh, yeah. We tried. We tried. That's okay. We tried uh, this time. Mm-hmm. After six hours of this, guys, I know for a fact this won't unlock. I have, uh, I've done the thing where I walked away from the computer... 30 minutes, an hour, it's never enough time. And the game doesn't always crash. Like, its it remains responsive. It just does not load. So, here we go. Hey, Z1. Yeah. I don't know if I can skip them all, you guys. Because if when I skip quests, I can't tell what's happening anymore. Like I, I don't any, I don't, I no longer know what's going on. I only skip two. I, I skip two quests, and I'm already lost. Like, lost. I think they were big tutorials on how this all works. And now he's talking about how they we have to assault the gunners in the glowing sea and all this stuff. I can tell. Supposedly, I know about some large sweeping developments in the Commonwealth War with the Gunners, but I don't. I don't know them. Ugh. I mean, well, I, I know about how to do it, Fallout Boy. Uh, I just run OBS as my um, external software, and I plumb it to YouTube. I don't run straight through YouTube Studio, because, uh, well, that doesn't have as many f functions. Um, yeah, so if you've got OBS, which is a, you know, free access software, and you have a YouTube channel, you can stream. This will load eventually. This one. See, I, I know to be patient with this loading screen. It'll get us there. It'll take a while. But in the GNN headquarters, it doesn't matter how long I wait. If it's not loading, it's never loading. I mean, I'll try it, Happy Grin. You know, like if when I go to the um when I go to the GNN headquarters, I'll just turn I'll just turn the radio off, for example. But my problem, my issue is GNN headquarters. I did. I didn't study Ranger Goodman. Uh, my obsession has been trying to make this playthrough savable. My my obsession for days now has been trying to make this playthrough continue working so that we can see Chapter Three. And I. Ah, uh, no, no, I don't think so, Rogue Paladin. It's a good question, right? But I only have twenty three people in there, and I have had that same twenty three people in there from episode like one or two on um i guess it'd be episode two because we don't have gnn in episode one but basically right away i recruited about the same these same 23 people and i haven't changed any of them out in a while okay so here we are here we are at this settlement outpost <sighs> okay um, here's our map. Data says we have to speak to Salvador. I, 
I could skip this one. I guess. Because we, we know what he said to us. Uh... Let's try that, alright? I mean, at this point, I've heard his spiel. I won't be lost. They'll just... And I'll be able to show you how this whole thing works. Uh, oops, city manager. You'll see. It's pretty slick. Clearly, the Sim Settlements team wanted everybody to have some way of getting past a bug or a glitch or a lock. Uh, and... Oh, no, I don't. I don't need to do that. No, I don't need to do that. Just stop this. Stop. Stop this. Okay. Wait. No. You can tell I'm a little flustered. I, I woke up at like 6 this morning and just have been working on trying to make this thing viable for this stream the whole time. I think I'm going crazy. But we could force complete the main quest. Let's do it. I mean, we got nothing to lose. Okay. Okay. There we go. That's cool. Once we're out of the pit boy, then it will give us all the quest options we missed. See, it'll hand us these plots. Cool. The science department finished the project. Yeah, that's cool. Build a watchtower. Yeah, okay. Okay. I mean, like, uh, we are now at war with the gun. Now? You need to find and clear all locations that faction has conquered. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm good with that. Most raids against my occupied locations will be from factions you are at war with and will increase in intensity as we get... Okay. While at war, any scouting systems that reveal locations, such as military department scouting missions... Great. That ha... I... So I guess that means I have to go to GNN and get the military department to run scouting missions. And I haven't recruited anybody for the military department there yet or any of that. You'll be more likely to find out the locations of the... Okay. Recruit a power armored unit from the war planner's desk via the recruitment radio. So I did all that, apparently. Oh, boy. So I missed more tutorial. I missed more tutorial. <sighs> okay. Um, I don't... <laughs> is there some reason this isn't... This hasn't been built yet? Like... You. Are you even a person here? Probably not. Just probably a wandering wastelander. That's fine. Hi, dog meat. Uh, we have 13 people here. A guard. Well, that's cool. A settler doing guard duty. That makes sense to me. We're an outpost. We're at war. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Do I need to reassign him to this desk? Like if I if I try, does it work? Got it. Yeah, it is bothering me. I'm sorry to seem a little frazzled, but I don't know how not to feel that way currently. Alright. Uh, let's let's try another one of these specialty plots we're supposed to build, though, huh? Um, we'll try a watchtower. Seems like a good idea to me to have a watchtower. We'll just build one, and we'll build it right here. Cool. And we'll build ourselves some stairs to go with it. There we go. 
And we'll get it some power. Oh wait, we do not have enough power for any of this stuff. What the heck? <laughs> this is a stupid city plan with no power. <laughs> okay. All right. I mean, let's let's see what our options are. Power grid, municipal power grid. I I would guess there's one here somewhere already. I mean, I would guess. It says I only need one, but probably only is one. Or probably already is one. Somewhere. Oh, wait. That's it. There it is. Okay. Yeah. So there is one here. That's cool. That's fine. Um... Then let's just ask ourselves. No, let's not ask ourselves. Let's just. I know this might be wrong to do in a Sim Settlements playthrough. <laughs> this is kind of fun, right? Just like plunk down a a Vault Tech reactor on the roof. <laughs> Why not? There we go. Sure, let's do it. Alright, there we go. Now this settlement should have enough power. New question. Does this have a person? Yeah, seems to. This does not. And this does not. Okay. Um, you're not a person, apparently. You, uh, you're guard. We need that. Where are the 13 people that supposedly live here? Like, where where are they, right? I've seen like one guard and the mayor and one wandering guy around here. Where are these people? <laughs> yeah, more power, Z1. Oh, good lordy. I wish I could assign dog meat somewhere. That'd be good. Maybe he's one of the 13, but that still leaves a lot of people unaccounted for. Seriously. I mean, what are they down in the mole rat hill behind the place? Like, where are these other settlers? Hmm. Okay, fine, fine. I'll get out of this. Maybe I need to give it time for the beacon to really actually summon as many people as it thinks are here. That's fine. We will turn this into a watchtower. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh, Ranger Goodman. You know what? You might as well. You might as well sing the California National Anthem because I don't know what else is going on here. Seriously. I hear you. Uh, I hear you, Happy Grin. Like, I get that people wander around. But I don't see him. Like, for real. That's just a random wastelander. Okay. Uh, that's fine, I guess. Eventually, hopefully, the person I put in charge of this outpost will assign these plots and they will get built. I mean, here's somebody upgrading this defense thingy. Here's somebody building something. Well, probably upgrading their house. It's probably going to block the stairs to this other plot <laughs> at some point. Right, 
Right. Uh, okay. 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 So let's let's look at our quests. What do we have to do now? Capture a gunner outpost. I don't mind doing that. I just don't think I've set up enough of my own outpost to make that work. And also, why does this look like it's a gunner outpost when I know it's not? Um, let's go to County Crossing. I feel like that is a decent place for an outpost. It's kind of in the middle of everything. Uh, maybe Outpost Zamonja. Like, I'm just going to set up a few outposts, and I'm going to see if that means I can start attacking the gunner's stuff. Uh, probably that's how this works. Well, hello, Minuteman Veteran Ranger, and hello, presumably Hi, naked dude in your combat armor. That's fine. That's fine. You know, I put a little bit of work into this settlement myself. Not too much, but I guess it's time to just let it go. Let's, um, let's build. Can I just go straight to the war planner's desk? Last time I did that, it made me build a city planner's desk or something. I don't remember anymore. Uh, hey, Doc Weathers, you're alive. Must have been a different save that you died in, but I definitely watched that guy die once. Um, no, here, war planner's desk. Oh, it's not gonna... Huh. I'm like, it should be in this building, but of course this floor doesn't count as real floor, I guess. Yeah, only this floor covering does. Fine, you know what? Guys, I'm sorry to do this, but I am going to put a floor covering somewhere. Or am I? No. And that's great. Uh, you know, I try to make a nice little place for everybody. Can I build this thing anywhere? Uh, sort of. Okay, so I could build it here. Nope. There. All right. I'm going to build that there. Hopefully, the desk can sit on that. We're going to find out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it will. It will do it. Perfect. Yes, convert to an outpost. Oh, hey, Brotherhood. It's kind of nice not to be at war with you guys. Thank you, Subversion Mod. Alright, buddy. Are you ready to be in charge of an outpost? No, not you. Because you're about to be... Okay. Uh... Is he gonna tear it all down and set it all up like an outpost? Okay, whatever. Uh, it's sad that he's going to tear all this down because, you know, I did spend a little time on it, but whatevs. The question is, is he turning it into an outpost? Or is he building... Because, okay, at the Red Rocket, I tried to do the same thing. And then they, re then they built the Red Rocket, and then they kicked me to Abernathy Farms and said that I had to build a new desk for my city planner. And then I went back there. I don't know. It was confusing. We're going to find out what happens now. Anybody who's played Sim Settlements 3 and knows what I'm doing wrong, please... Please chip in. I want to be edified. 
Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. This desk is here. So I think I have to turn... I think I have to build an outpost desk. Yeah, probably, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And the reason I can't build one is... I have all the stuff I need. Wait, 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 wait. You know what? I'm gonna get out of this menu. Maybe it just needs a sec to load. I am stoked for the TV show. How you doing, Hajro? I am very stoked. Oh, that is the War Planner's desk? Oh, it just doesn't look like it? Oh. some reason I can't build this thing? And if so, what the heck is it? Uh, replace city plan, remove city plan, dismiss, refresh. No. No. Okay. So my mistake was what? What was my mistake? Uh, my mistake was trying to assign someone to the war planner's desk, I guess. Oh look, now it's letting me build it. Okay. Fine, it's, you're getting built like outdoors. I'm not even going to try to get fancy this time. Alright, and then... Uh, Let's find. Eh. Let's find someone. Oh no, is this another one of those situations where all the settlers disappear? Is it because I turned it into an outpost? Come on. Uh, Hajro, I managed to get past it by force completing some quests and now I'm just trying to play catch up on how this all works and what I'm supposed to be doing right now. I guess maybe to put it more specifically, I spent six something hours trying to get past the quests and this is as good as it's gotten so far. Okay. Okay, so these guys have become guards. That's cool. That's cool. Um... Caravan guard, sure, get it, I get it. Where did the guy I assigned as leader go? <sighs> I don't know, doesn't matter. How about we try something else? How about we build some of these martial plots we're supposed to build for these, um, you know, for these missions? Let's do that. Like, yeah, I like it. What is, what is that even clipping to? Who knows? Who cares? Um, you know, I'm only overwhelmed, Hajro, probably, because I had to skip a couple quests that were very likely to have been, like, tutorial-style quests. I'm pretty darn sure they were. We don't have a lot of power here. Where is the power coming from? Oh, it's this guy. Where'd he go? Alright, it's this dude, huh? VE, large generator. 
That's sitting in the hood of this truck. That's kind of awesome. I sort of like that. Um, let's give it more, though. Right? It's like... I actually want you to have, like, enough power. But for real, though. To definitely meet your needs. What? What are we missing? There we go. I knew that would work. Okay. This should give us enough power. Now let's turn this into um, one of the plots that we actually need. So, we're going to try a... Field medics, battlefield scavengers, basic defenses, armory, okay, advanced defenses, that's cool and everything. Um, octagonal watch tower. So we've got a watchtower and we have an octagonal watchtower. I mean, that's cool and everything. Um, Yeah, I guess we'll do this one. Why not, I suppose? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Does it show? I don't really know what I'm doing here. Uh, okay, cool. Cool that that is started. Um, I probably need to set up a jail type thing here too, so we'll try that. We don't have any people here though. Like, where do I recruit from? I wonder. Uh, we have four people. Yeah, that's not enough. Hmm. So there must be a way to recruit. Anybody know what it is? Clipboard? Okay. That's good to know. That's good to know, Ranger Goodman. Um, will this clip to this thing? No, not really. Can it clip to this one? And if not, why not? Okay, I don't understand why this can't just snap to the next guy, but that's cool. That's cool. Doesn't matter. Let's just get it some power. And... We'll go here. Come on. What am I stuck in? <laughs> okay. I'm trying, guys. I am trying. Uh, choose building plan. Let's do a prison, but maybe I can even do, like, POW lockup. Yeah, we'll do that one. Sure. Clearly, we need more people here. Um, so let's look at the map, and let's see where we've got too many people, like... Croup Manor, which looks like maybe it fell to the Gunners. Uh, Kingsport Lighthouse looks like maybe it fell to the Gunners. Um, Egret Tours Marina has 30 people. We are... We're going to go there. Hey, Corbin. You hope I committed war crimes? 
Well, thanks, Inquisitor. I mean, I'm tr I'm trying to commit something. I'm trying to commit war, I guess. Uh, let's let's try the clipboard. Let's see if that is what. Um, Crops been growing pretty good lately. Ain't looking for trouble, I hope. Got a minute. Okay, uh, conscript. I know you're in a tough situation here, but lives are at stake. Please, help me. Out here, you gotta take things one day at a time. Okay. It's come farther than most places can boast. That's okay, so this is a warrior now. Managed soldier. Um, armory options. Auto equip is on. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh. Okay. How much work do I have to put into this? Like, if I, like, if I pick up the, the, the whatever. Uh, let's see. So I scan this guy, right? He doesn't have much going on. I don't... Let's try to find somebody who seems like a good candidate for something. Lost track of how many blisters I a guard. got. guard. Sure. Alright. Um... Work, you oh, recruitment eat. officer. It's as simple as that. I guess I'll leave him in his job. Oh, oh Bucky. Bucky oh. Those are neat. Okay. Comms operator. Okay, you seem like you're already doing something that matters. Hopefully, one of them sent here to a spy warden. on me. What does that mean? Does that mean there's a Warden. That means there's a prison here somewhere, right? I don't know where. Maybe it's here where this generator is. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's a guard. Let's. We just. We need to find some people. Phyllis. Ooh, can I recruit Phyllis? That would be awesome, actually. Let's try to recruit Phyllis. She doesn't do hey. anything. Hey, Phyllis. You've given me a lot to think about. Uh-huh. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me, kid. Yeah. Hey. Mm -hmm. Okay, no. Nope. Phyllis is still the most useless human being on the planet. Okay. Oh, guys. I don't want to have to... S Force complete every quest that has me in GNN headquarters because that's going to be so many quests. Oh, Def Nadine, I like her. I can't Hi. recruit her yet, though. Hey, I don't think. I'm Nadine. Most people call me Def Nadine. I think I wouldn't know because I'm Def. I got sneeze. I got from the Legion, you see? <laughs> Pardon? I don't know what people out here heard about everything <laughs> Whew, that happened out west. Oh. Anyway. Oh, it's I 6 p.m. for me, guys. Military before they discharge me. Mm -hmm. So here's our NCR person. Nice to meet you. Yeah, it's true. I was a lieutenant and I loved my job. Uh huh. Until Kaiser came dicking about with his boys. They were evil sons of bitches if I ever saw any. So here I was leading my supply convoy to Hoover Dam when the Legion suddenly hit us. Don't look at me like that. Of course I varied my route. I'm not stupid. I guess they just got lucky. Anyway, we beat them off easily enough. Only a few casualties. And only one ammo transport lost. 
Unfortunately, it blew up right next to me. Gave me this nice scar and took my hearing. NCR Brass said I was a hero. And then discharged me. Discharged. Can you believe it? She's hilarious, too. Just because I'd gone deaf. They didn't even know if my hearing loss was permanent. It's permanent. But they didn't know that. So, <laughs> uh, anyway. I may have given the captain the finger. And the major. And the colonel. So, good news. I'm available for new job opportunities. What's that? You weren't listening, and you want me to repeat the entire story? <laughs> Watch what happened. No. Okay. You should really listen this time. So, I was lieutenant in the NCR military. <laughs> uh, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> I told you she was funny. Of course you heard me, right? So, as I was saying, I was out of the NCR army. But being a soldier is all I know. So, I decided to come out east. So, you see, I heard before going deaf. I, don't get smart with me. About the Minutemen. <laughs> and, I don't know, I, I guess they reminded me of something. It sounded like the Commonwealth was sort of a little NCR. That's right, New Commonwealth big, Republic. Like a, bunch of little shady sands trying to band together and grow sound like a little nation being born and any growing nation needs an army right to protect its people to provide safety and stability and there were the minute more loosely organized less professional than what i was used to maybe but a dream i hoped might even have a place for me despite my deafness so i came in dang and then well turns out the minimum and we're gone hard enough for me to find out but i pieced together what happened at quincy and i couldn't believe it all right the minutemen who were famous for defending diamond city from super mutants just gone falling apart wow she took it hard. And my dream fell apart too. So Damn, I Nadine. Some jobs, tried to make some friends. Didn't really work out. Only this guy, Randy. Know him? Randy. Well, only he helped me out. Don't Randy. suppose I can blame anyone. Since I wasn't born deaf, I, I don't know sign language. Or how to read lips. Nobody to teach me either. But then I was in Diamond There you go, Hajro. Eating those nasty noodles, and I saw it in the paper. The Minutemen are back. Retook the castle and everything. So here I am. What was that? You weren't listening again. You want me to repeat my life story? No, stop that. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you'll pay attention this time. So, they kicked me out of the army, and... Nah. <laughs> got you again. Okay, if you think so. Okay, I saw that coming, though. I'm here to join the Minutemen. I may be deaf, but I'm a veteran. Okay. And I know a lot about military operations. Well, okay. Will you have me? If you like dirt, radiation, and random violence, you're in for a treat. Fantastic. Stick me in a uniform and hand me a weapon. You do have uniforms, right? Ah, oh, this is great. Yeah. Me and you. This is a good story, right? Randy must be somebody. He must be somebody we know. Why can't you lead? <gasps> Am I going to ask her to be the minute leader of the Minutemen? I, yeah, I'm going to ask. Why can't you lead the Minutemen? Although, wait. There's one thing we need to talk about first. Thought I left them behind when I came here, but... That giant airship proved me wrong. I guess she can't even hear me ask Brother that, can she? You. Now. Like, she can't I read lips if I'm wearing this ma scarf over my face. Still, the NCR has been in armed conflict with them. 
I have been in armed conflict with them. Lost men to them. And I don't like seeing them here. They don't care about the people. Only themselves. I need you right, to Hajro. that if necessary. You will stop the Brotherhood. That you will protect the Commonwealth from them. I mean, if necessary. That if it comes to it, you will destroy them. Oh, Nadine, I did better than that. I've killed enough Brotherhood to last. I've replaced their leader with a synth that I can tell him, and I'm his boss. So that's what but I did, I Nadine. You bring me the hollow tags of a Brotherhood soldier, and I'll know that you can do what must be done when the time comes. Wow. Find me when you have them. This sister's not with the Brotherhood. All right, I feel like I do want to recruit her, but I don't think I can until I have fulfilled her little quest. I'm starting to also, think this place might just have a shot to keep standing. Wait, wait, uh, hold up, Catherine Drake. <laughs> Just the person I wanted to see. I was almost gonna send a search party out for you. Oh right. I know you're busy, she so wants to build a scrapping thing. I've got a proposition for you. <sighs> Maybe not right now. Not right now. I have some things I have to take care of. Sure, I remember her no whole problem. scrapping deal. This isn't critical anyway. I'll be here when you're ready. You should know. I'm up for a trade if you People are. have been complaining a bit about the bed situation. What where who is talking to me right now? Settler warrior. Settler. Scan. You know what? At this point, I'll take whoever. I don't even care. Uh, I think agility is probably what makes a good soldier, but it never changes. Oh, who cares? Let's see. Uh, recruitment clipboard. Yeah. Hi there. It's the only way to ensure the safety of the Commonwealth. Mm -hmm. Manage soldier. Roll warrior outpost. Why don't, why can't I tell him where else to go? Yes. Um, maybe I can in the workshop menu, right? I mean, this is cool and everything, dude. Okay, there we go. Move. I want you at Red Rocket. There we go. So this does work. And you, my dear? Why can't she go to County? She can go to County Crossing. Okay. Good. I like it. Uh, this place has a lot of people in it, apparently. 28 or something? I don't know where they all are. But, like... Okay, you're assigned to the doctor thing. That's cool. I'll, I'll let you hang there. Um, oh, hi. You look like you're probably assigned to something, too. This this outpost is pretty cool. Um, eh. Okay. Well. I think maybe I just need to take my chances with uh, my recruitment clipboard. And say, screw it to their stats. Right? Mm-hmm. Let's get in here. What do we have? Comms operator. Okay, well, that sounds sort of important. <sighs> oh, look at this. Uh, oh, oh, of course I can't actually access it. It's just a prop. Of course. This one is too then? Yeah. Some stuff's not all props. Okay, so there's a dude. He seems to have a thing that he's supposed to do. 
My bed. See, check this out. Look at our digs here at Egret Tours Outpost. Bathroom, kitchenette. We got ourselves a little apartment going on. What I don't know is where all these people are. You know? These people that are supposedly here. Aha! Who are you? A mechanic. Huh? Uh huh. So where are the unassigned people? Like, are they just chilling in, uh... Up on the wall? Not really. Okay. Where are the people, guys? You know what? Something tells me we have enough guards, and Can I will I just something? recruit this person anyway. We need your help. <laughs> sure. That's awesome. Um. Okay, and then get a sender somewhere. Uh, move to County Crossing, I guess. Oh. oh yeah, okay, so I mean, I don't really know where all the people are that are supposedly in this settlement. It says 28, but I have not run into that many. I guess they include things like this puppy, maybe. Right? Okay, Daphne Dean. Alright, I already know where that gal's going. I already recruited her. Sheesh. you something it's the only way to ensure the safety of the Commonwealth got it cool cool all right I mean I think this is how this is supposed to work right I think I'm supposed to just conscript people into the army. Um. Uh huh. Nobody's up here. I thought I would see more people though, because this says it's got 30, but I'm. I have not bumped into 30 people. Nowhere close. It's a very cool settlement build, but... Yeah. Okay, so she's in charge. Got it, got it. Comms operator. How many of those do we need? I've seen another comms operator here. So right, guess what? A minute. He's a conscript now. We need your help. Okay. I guess we'll send him to Red Rocket. Well, hello. Uh, mm-hmm. Is this a settler? Yes, Hi it there. is. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Buddy. We need your help. He's <laughs> just making feet and feet away from me, but okay. Whew. Lone Remnant, hey. The bell brings him to me? I had no idea about that. Uh, let's move this guy to... 
County Crossing said it had the least people, so... I don't really know what else I'm supposed to be doing. And you are a warden, so I'll leave you alone. That seems like a worthwhile job. Okay. Hey, Dom. Uh, they kind of got worked out, Dom. I force uh, completed a couple of quests, and now I'm trying to, like, basically catch up on what I missed <laughs> from those. Uh, now, if... I'm, I'm supposed to retake a gunner outpost. Right? So... Let's try it. Let's find one on the map. It's going to be something like Murkwater, right? Or uh, Somerville Place. I did clear Murkwater. Which, maybe I should fast travel there and see if technically I can retake Murkwater. Because it shouldn't be that hard. Uh... I already wiped everybody out in this spot. Oh, oops. <laughs> Apparently they repaired my defenses. Yikes. Okay. Okay, they didn't repair all my defenses. Okay. Okay, well, um... That yeah, one's not powered up anyway. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I need the binoculars, right? So, something like that. And then I need to find the gunner flag. Oh, wait, that's not the gunner flag. That's a prop from a different thing. Okay, where's the gunner flag? Oh, jeez. It's the uh, enclave battling somebody over there. This was how this worked, like that I could point binoculars at a place I wanted to attack. And that troops would know. Marked. Okay, so we marked it. Good, 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 good. And then we need the flare gun, right? Are you kidding me? Is there going to be a red flare answering? Or a white one? According to Salvador, if a white flare if it gets fired, they can't come, right? Auto save. Okay. Uh, hello? Hi, Gunners. So, I have to meet with my people, I think, and then attack the Gunners with my team, I'm going to guess. Yes. Okay. Okay, we can do this. Okay, gang. Oh, these are the people I just recruited. Oh, boy. Well, then, let's... um. Let's... Nope, not that. There we go. I'm using Lupe's Revenge right now. I decided to try this out. It's part of the Sim Settlements 2 
mod. You know, it's a weapon Lupe gives us. So I thought, yeah, let's, let's play a little bit with that. Nope, not a settler. I don't care about the spotlight. <laughs> oh, all right, there we go. It's a pretty good gun. Who's next? these folks came from, but they are about to regret it. Okay. We retook a gunner outpost, I think. Captive. No, I don't need to kill any captives. Why are we killing this captive? Oh, he was a minute man. Why did we take him out? What was up with that? Okay, and now we gotta run and defend uh think we're okay. You know what? Okay. Okay, cutscene. Okay, wow, a lot of things are happening right now. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, that's cool. Oh, shoot! No! Oh, okay. I was like, la I remember last time I looked at my it's pit boy during the, one of those I want to talk things. To you about. I've noticed you're on friendly terms with the group known as the Nightingales. Cultivating camaraderie with others. Oh, Dom, that's I'm really sorry to hear that, by the way. There's strength that sounds in rough. And that strength is far greater when everyone knows they can rely on each other. Okay, dude. Just doing my job. Uh huh. But that was all. Safe travels. Okay, yes. What? what? Who are we shooting at now? Stop shooting at the captives, dude. God. Alright. We're gonna defend Egret Tours. Oh, I haven't discovered this location yet? Is that right? Uh, I guess we'll get there from GN... Oh, okay. Wait, I don't want to fast travel to GN and HQ anyway. Here. Oh, they're not enemies, you dipshits. I'm tired of them shooting my own people. Those were captives, not enemies. What enemies? What enemies? What enemies? What enemies? Seriously. This thing? You want me to blow it up? Fine. Sure, I'll, I'll, I'll blow it up. There you go, game. Happy now? Yeah, apparently I needed to blow up the deactivated spotlight. Of course. <sighs> no, Hajro. Probably not. It's been a rough couple of days, okay? I'm not meeting any envoy at the HQ. We're gonna find eager tours. Oh man, they're across the river though. Oh well. That's fine, we can still get there. In fact, might be kind of fun to snipe from here, right? Oh, of course I can't see the gunners. Okay, there are all my settlers huddled together. I like how the gunners took this place. They just took it. I have a billion defenses set up, but they just took it. Like, didn't matter. Who are these guys? There we go. 
Okay. We're gonna do this. First things first, or is there a super mutant behemoth again? Did he respawn over here? I saw something. Is it robots? Hmm, weird. Doesn't matter. Okay. Uh oh. Uh, what's up here? Okay, so there's some gunners. Go get him, Z1. Okay, well, maybe let me continue to see the. Let's see. Uh, I mean, the last minute's not a bad sniper. Got this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. Whew. Okay. Boy, they really seemed to know I was here, didn't they? If I get enough of this 2mm ammo, I'll really start using this induction weaponry. But until I've got a lot of it, I'm, I'm just going to kind of hold off. This isn't mine again, right? We're good, right, folks? It's so weird how the gunners can just come and take it. I mean, this place is an absolute fortress, and it doesn't make any difference. Oh, uh, Happy Grin, I have all the major factions on my side because of the subversion mod. Um... I don't know that it's a Kingath thing, although, you know, here we have Meet the Envoy, help groups you've met to gain alliances, you know, capture a gunner, capture zero out of three gunner territories, all right. And what's this business? Bunker Hill, huh? Interesting. It's auto saving. Good. Okay. What do we? Uh, okay. 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 Um. I'm thinking. I'm a little afraid to go to HQ, but let's try it. Let's see what happens. We just auto saved, so you know. We'll go into HQ and we'll see. Can we meet the factions there? I don't have to skip. I don't have to force complete every quest that happens at HQ, right? I mean, that would be kind of messed up.
Okay. What just happened? Yeah, move, move, move. You know, I turned infestations off. So what is going on, you know? Weird, these are the same... Oh, I get it. I haven't been in GNN yet, so this is the exact same infestation I was fighting all those other times. Hopefully we can leave this time, right? There we go. Okay, maybe... Wow, how many of these are there? And also, why did the quest marker disappear from meeting with the faction? Okay, I think, I think that's everything. I think that's, oh, no, of course not. check this again uh, meet the envoy at HQ I'm not gonna worry about that attention maintenance required our objective report to the armory meet the envoy at HQ is it is good to see you okay Hey. Hello. It is good to see our weapons lab completed. I will be uh -huh. ensuring your soldiers take full advantage of it. Uh huh. Bye. <laughs> so where's the envoy? Hi. How are you? Like it seemed as though the envoy was upstairs here. The robots there. Wait, what? Hey, it's good to see you. All right, there's the Teresa. Castle. Man, you do good work. Hey, there. Uh, Z1, are you talking about that um, shotgun mod he has? The grenade shotgun? The one that's a, you know, like a recreation of an earlier Fallout weapon? Hmm, thought I heard bugs. All right, so I guess meeting this person at HQ isn't a thing anymore? Oh, it's you. Yep, it's me. Meet the envoy at HQ. Wow, it's acting like this isn't a thing anymore. Weird, right? Okay, NCR Ranger Goodman, you gotta jump off? Okay.
<laughs> the markers were disappointed in me. I tried fighting in power armor once. Didn't care for it. Too exhausted. Lost my sleep around. <laughs> oh, a self loading cowboy rifle. Okay, interesting, I guess. I'm just like, where can I do this? Where can I meet the envoy? Okay, hang on. I got a thought. Facilities. Construction. Living quarters. Oh, you know, lest I forget, I have to toggle God mode to make anything happen in here. Um, I don't need the decoration. Military, huh? Plan an assault. That's cool and everything, but. I mean, I don't know. Sure, whatever. Uh, but I thought I needed to build... Um, it seems as though it's not true. I thought maybe... Sure. Uh, I thought maybe I needed to build the... Um, like the envoys a place to meet me, but I think maybe they're already built. Just don't know where to go. Chief, I need to thank you. You helped save my life. Yeah. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> and okay, I guess conversation over. That's cool. Our greatest allies. So the the problem is, I don't think I can ever go down into the hangar, but I think that's where the envoys would meet me. But I can't tell because now. It says meet at the HQ, but I don't know if I can. How about instead we try and get out of here? Let's just go to Let's go to Egret Tours. I mean, we don't know that it's not going to work, but I've never been able to leave the HQ. Wait, no. I think maybe the curse of not being able to come in and out of the HQ is just a thing now. Like, I can go, okay, not, I can go in. I can get into the HQ. The problem appears to be anytime I want to leave it. Or go to another part of it, because, yeah. It's a problem. Dak does good work. I haven't regretted any of Dak's downloads. His attachment pack has been especially influential for me. Like, it just, I love the rework of the vanilla weapons. It's just so impactful. 
and it's made playing with vanilla weapons much more engaging again somehow. I mean, you know, he fixes some oversights. I love the assault rifle's new, you know, attachments, for example. And then all of his standalone, like, weapon mods, they're pretty good. The 22 pack, pretty good pack, especially with the auto revolver. Um, yeah, I've got a few of the DAC weapons. I know I've got more than just the 22s. Somewhere. Yeah, I think we're... I think we're stuck here, guys. Oh, Lord. Oh, boy. Well, okay. So that's that. We could, we could wait an eternity, I know, because I tested it. Um, I think last night, in, in one of those exact kinds of moments, I just left it. Left it loading for like two hours, came back, still hadn't. Whew. So. Come on. There we go. That probably won't happen, Hajro, but it would be an interesting one, right? I mean, there'd be quite the... Quite the bundle. Hmm. That's too bad about the iron sight. I guess, yeah, we'll just continue from where we are. Which I think was when we saved Egret Tours. So I guess I can force, like, I can force complete the quests in the HQ, but not, it's not going to be doable all the time. And half of the cool cutscenes that you play Sim Settlements for, you know, the interesting dialogue, the character development, it's going to happen in, in the HQ, and I'm going to be skipping right past it. Nice solution, Hadro. I mean, for Z1's problem, anyway. Far Cry 5 vibes, huh, Inquisitor? You know, I haven't played Far Cry. It, I mean, I just saw a couple trailers for the game. It gave me kind of the impression of being a little bit like... A little bit like Tomb Raider? Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, here we are. Egret Tours Marina. Everybody's happy. Cool, cool, cool. 
You know what? I think I'm going to just keep on recruiting. Uh, oh, what's your deal, bud? Visiting hunter. You just kind of dropped off the roof, did you? All work and no sleep makes Bucky go. Something. Mm -hmm. If you work, you eat. It's as simple as that. Yes. Okay, fine. Excuse me. Huh? Yes. It's too bad I can't recruit these visiting Can people, I ask you something? It's the only way to ensure the safety of the Commonwealth. Okay. We're gonna conscript this guy too. Okay. There we go. Uh Wow, this thing is laggy. Come on. Don't die on me. There we go. Uh, sure. I'll send him to Counting Crossing. I like how the defense in this place is 481, even though I've been pulling guards off duty, and the gunners still just took it when I wasn't looking without trying. Uh, anyway. Alright, we're gonna go to, um, we're gonna go to County Crossing. And we are going to, uh, build some of these training things. See if we can't get our troops to be a little more, you know, robust. Okay, so the recruitment beacon is on. Out here, you gotta take things one day at a time. Hmm. Cool, cool. Uh huh. What yes. about you? Guard. Okay. This place seems a little random. Okay. I gotta tell you guys, this game. Get, is getting slower and slower. Feels like. Mm -hmm. Assigned to guard duty. Okay, Settler, well, you know, that's cool that you are assigned to guard duty, but now we're just going to make you assigned to that. Okay, good. And then... Well, let's find somebody else, huh? He's kind of the mayor. <laughs> Guard duty, okay, that's, you know, that's cool, guard duty's cool. Um, okay, so somebody built the watchtower, that's neat. Alright, so then let's, uh, let's build another plot type, right? Um, I think all the ones for outposts are martial plots, so... this here. up to the grid. Alright, yes, okay. And then we'll 
find somebody for it. turn it into whatever plot type we want and I think I want something one of these like training plots you know let's see so uh Recruiter's office is probably a good idea. Uh, field medics. Okay. train these people though, right? Hang on. Is there another plot type that works in outposts, I wonder? Feels like there must be. Oops. Okay. Can't be recreation or can it? Maybe it is recreation that trains the soldiers, just kind of like everything else. So we'll try it, right? I'm just, I'm trying to do the thing, guys, but I can't really tell if I'm doing it right. Um, we'll see. Just like, uh, where? Where? Uh, where are the people? There we go. There's, there's somebody. So I will put her in charge of this. Okay, fine. So, now let's, let's pick ourselves a plot type, right? Uh, there must be one that's outpost oriented. Agility training. Oh, there's a mess hall. Military training. That's the one we want. Yeah. Yeah, military training. Cool, cool, cool. So that'll help people rank up. That's that's good, I guess. I don't know who the Brotherhood of Steel are fighting over there right now. I suppose we'll need to build an armory, too, because... That's what will equip the soldiers better, I think. So we'll try it. Uh, I'll try and park one of those around here. <laughs> Where do we have space? I guess we have some here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll 
go here and we'll tell this what type to be. This is a little tedious, I know, but I think this is what I think this is what I have to do. Automatically equip soldiers, right, okay, good. Okay, wow, they're filling the job positions here pretty good, but this one still needs somebody. Maybe I can grab somebody for it. Like, I think it's kind of worth taking somebody off guard duty, to be honest, to have them build the armory, because then at least everybody will have some equipment. Okay, well there we go. I've got a couple outposts and I'm trying to make some... I have a few outposts and I'm trying to make something of them. I think that's what I have to do. I think I have to try to make my outposts good enough that I can call on them for these missions to conquer stuff with, right? This is bonkers. And it's also bonkers that in about four hours, the uh, Fallout TV series is going to drop. Wow. What? Uh, Z1, we, we managed to fast travel into this building. Oh, this isn't good. So this... So am I... Okay, so I put... Oh, boy. Fine. Actually, uh, I can toggle collision, right? And get out of here. Yes. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's not so bad. see some of the stuff getting built, but um, we're going to build an, a training thing here, too. No, wait. Um, recreational plot. There we go. We must have some room somewhere, right? <laughs> Has to be some real estate somewhere around here for this thing. Scrap some stuff, I guess. Ooh, this is running a little slow. A lot of lag on my workshop mode. I know I shouldn't be able to scrap a shrub. I think these trees were scrappable, right? I'm trying not to use scrap everything too much, but... Okay, come on. Okay, well, how about now? Uh, 
I like it. Okay. And then pick the plot type. It's going to be military training. That's the one. Okay. How are we doing? <laughs> Praised be the great toddler. Thank you, Inquisitor. Thanks for keeping things positive. I think this place needs a recruitment office. That's what I think. And that... I think that's a defense plot type. So, let's see, where can I stack one of those, right? Weird that it'll let me put one so far out here. Hmm. Is it just this sign in the way? Feels a little like it is, so let's try that again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Huh, I feel like there's got to be a better spot for this. But where, right? Maybe I can just scrap all this other stuff and get it out of the way. Go on. You can do it. It takes in a minute. Choose a building plan. Let's get ourselves a recruiting office. Yeah. And I don't know who's going to run it, but we're going to find somebody to run it so that more people start showing up here. Hello? Are you not an actual person? What's up? What's going on here? Hey, Ed Rock. You're, I know that guy. He's all about the Red Rocket. Sure thing. Cool.
Really? This is... This is as far as it's gonna get? Something tells me he isn't really assigned to this. Yeah, no, there's nobody here. Great, so I have to do his personal quest, I think, before I can put him on any jobs. Well, fine. Good deal. Some of these people I recruited are showing up now. Cool. Alright, maybe I've gotten this off to a good start. I, I can't really tell. But I seem to kind of understand what's happening. Uh, it seems, kind of, to me, like we build up our outposts as much as we can so that when we call for reinforcements to take these other gunner places we get like decent backup I don't know how the FCOM mod would work like maybe it would be great to have the FCOM mod helping me out here maybe it would be buggy I can't, I can't tell anymore right thanks Inquisitor thanks that another one needs my help on the moon because that's kind of how it feels right now Meet the envoy at HQ. Yeah, now it says it again. Okay. Capture three gunner territories. Maybe that's what I'm going to try to do. Three gunner territories seems like a good thing to do. Let's... Let's try it, right? I can put a little more time into this stream. What do you guys think? Maybe another 30 minutes at least, right? So we could do... We could do these gunner, like Somerville Place. Um, Murkwater's back with us. Where else do they have? Oh, they have Spectacle Island. Although, oh, the beauty is that because Mercer's Safe House has its own quick travel thing, I can get there. And maybe I can mark it from the castle. Let's let's see if I can mark Spectacle Island for takeover from the castle or not. And it might be the case that I don't have any outposts close enough. Hmm. Help defend Sunshine Tidings Co-op, but that's like a normal help defend. Alright. Let's go up on the ramparts. Let's see if our binoculars can mark Spectacle Island from the castle. Right? Doesn't seem like it. That's kind of a bummer. I could probably get closer in the vertebrate, right? I can't... I can't mark it from here. Maybe I can mark it from the Warwick homestead. They're even closer, I think. Yeah, Inquisitor, that... I would get that joke. Hi, how are you? What? 
Roger, what are you doing in the stairs, dude? Get with the times, man. Okay. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, we have marked... Good. Okay, cool. Um, how do I... <laughs> I'm kind of like, how do I summon forces to help with that? Hmm... Oh, I will take it back. I will. Uh, wait. Identified non-hostiles. Okay. That's that's cool. That's cool. Uh, I don't know what that means. But now there's a quest marker right here. Why is this a quest marker? Yes. It's a machine gun turret. What? What is that? What is this? What is identified non? What? Okay. All right. Uh, you know what? Screw this. I'm just going to go there myself. And then I'll call for help. Like I did with Murkwater. Let's go with slow time. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to wipe out some enemies until they're gone. Actually, weirdly. There don't seem to be any here. Oh, there they are. I had this place pretty well defended. Admittedly. Oh my. Getting real now, isn't it? <laughs> Don't even really need slow time when I've got this much ordnance. Oh, okay. There's somebody. And who? Lost, 
I'm just... Yeah, go get them, Z1. There we go, took them out. So who's next? I see a lot of red markers. Job, Z-Wood. I got a thought. I mean, I can always get reinforcements, you know? There we go. That should help a little bit. Let's go kick the door down, right? one in my way. Here we go. Into the Mercer safe house that I built. Now I get to destroy it. Sheesh. Oh, whoops. I killed a railroad agent. My bad. Oopsies. Love having to destroy all my own defenses. I think they got away. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, Guy Storm. Well, what you missed, uh, mostly me trying to work around the fact that I don't seem to be able to go in and out of the HQ. I don't, s well, I can go in. I don't seem to be able to leave the HQ once I'm in there, so I basically shouldn't go in. Gone. Excellent. Who is this? That's it for now. They're gone. Who is that? Oh, it's Deacon. Right, I did have him here. Deacon, you're just holding the clipboard, huh? Sure, I guess. Mm-hmm. Brigadier. Nice. is we will mark this with our binoculars. <laughs> right? It's like... I guess we want to... Good, we marked Spectacle Island as a potential target. Cool, 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 cool. And now I'll fire my flare gun, I guess.
Can we get reinforcements out here? Okay, and now the bad guys are back, right? Okay, by the time any of my troops showed up, I had these guys taken out, so that's good news. Because these guys are not packing, like, the best stuff, are they? Okay. Oh, right, our little cutscene at the end. seems like my strategy is going to be going in, clearing the place myself, marking it, calling for backup, having the enemy respawn, repurging them, <laughs> at least in some cases. Okay, this is that's cool, that's cool. I guess I do one of these to get out of it. Yeah. Okay. Magnuson. Hello. Hello. Um, hello? Ah, oh, finally! It's Who about is this? damn time. <coughs> I am the Dr. K.S. Magnuson, inventor what? of the Calm Hub, what you know as ASAMs, not to mention a myriad of other groundbreaking technologies. And dare I say, young lady, that today is your lucky day. What? You are about to receive guidance from quite possibly the most brilliant mind left in the wasteland. What is this about? On the off chance that you are simpleton, I am referring to me. This must be a trick. Whilst usually I'd encourage skepticism, now is not the time. Now, huh. ever since you reactivated the Calm Hub, I have been aware of your activities. I know about your efforts to rebuild the Commonwealth, and of your fight against the group called the Gunners. And for the most part, I have approved. However, I think I'm with you, Fallout Boy. Health overhauls are a little better than damage overhauls. I have been Usually damage just goes up, 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 up. But if you just tell the health not to scale up, 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 then the damage doesn't have to do it either, and it's just simpler. You really from before the war? Something of a cynic, are we? The Great War, or something like it, was inevitable. It was only prudent that I and others like me took the necessary precautions to see us through. Mm -hmm. It took this long to make contact? As I said, there were complications. But whilst I may have been unable to talk with you, that doesn't mean I was content to sit on my laurels. I'm listening. Since I was not able to speak with you, I decided to instead monitor Gunner communications oh, right. and so redirect he's the one anything who did this. that appeared relevant or critical via the Calm Hub, allowing you and your partner to overhear the Gunners right, um, and prepare yourselves accordingly. I am glad I don't to know. see that you have been using this to your advantage. Like, I don't know. So it was you. Yes, it was me. All hail Magnuson. Glorious defender of the wasteland. It's thanks to my intervention alone that you managed to keep one step ahead of the gunners all this time. So, you're welcome. <sighs> but simply playing telephone is no longer enough. If you're to win this war of yours, you'll need more than overheard radio chatter. Okay. Hm. Now, you may have noticed the gunners have equipped themselves with some interesting new weaponry. Energy weapons, nuclear devices, all courtesy of their employer mm -hmm. well they're not the only ones who can play that game i'm forwarding you coordinates to a pre-war cache it'll have equipment that can help you 
You should acquire its contents as soon as you are able. Why are you helping me? The gunner's actions threaten more than just the Commonwealth. Mm -hmm. If they're not stopped, America's best hope for a future dies. What's in the cache? I'd have thought the term equipment self-explanatory, oh, but if you must know, the cache contains food, medical supplies, precious materials, all of which will be useful for your HQ, I'm sure. And the peace de resistance, the first step to ending your war against the gunners, the Steno. Steno. But I'll leave the details of that as a surprise. Pre-war cash, huh? This will be interesting. Provided the seals have held, you'll be the first thing to have set foot inside in over two centuries. So, do try not to scuff the carpet. Travel to Wildwood Cemetery. Should still be there. In one of the mausoleums, there's a false tomb. Inside, a ladder leading to a small bunker. Mm -hmm. Enter, and when prompted, speak the passcode. Moonlight's burning. You'll then gain access to the equipment. There'll be a gun there. Take it. I'll contact you again soon. Until I mean, then, I'd consider it a personal favor if you didn't get yourself killed. There's too much at stake, and your demise is not something I care to factor into my calculations. Okay. All right. Hey, darling. Didn't mean to eavesdrop, but that radio call was being piped to the comm array. We heard the whole thing. You really think that was Magnuson? The guy who 200 years ago invented a Sam's? This is getting interesting. The same guy whose office we were in. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, you're right. If we play along, maybe we'll get a chance to ask him in person. For now, I think we should do what Magnuson says. You should visit this cache of his. Find out what kind of goodies he's offering to help us fight the gunners with. All right, then. Good luck, and be safe. Okay. Well, I'm going to grab a few more 2mm sure rounds. Definitely mowed him down pretty good with the ash maker. Okay, there we go. So let's look at this. I don't know what. I don't know what this. I don't know what this is. I have no idea what this even means. Meet the envoy at HQ. Help the groups. Of yeah, I'd like to do that. Uh, capture zero of. I've captured zero of three gunner territories. All right, fine. What about this one? He said something about the cemetery, though. Is this where the Willwood Cemetery is, you guys? Is it over here? Maybe I can find out. Yeah, maybe it is. No? County Crossing's not close to a cemetery, is it? Yeah, the new induction weapons are cool, Guystorm. They definitely are. Um... Attention. Interfering with a law enforcement program. We'll head over here. See if we can find this cache, right? Come to think of it, when was the last time we saved? <laughs> 
right. It was before all that audio, so let's try that again. Okay, so... Bunch. I think we got ourselves another. I think we have ourselves another Gatling gun kind of situation. They're gonna be packed that tight, right? What? Did the. Rust Devils have boomers too? You know, the, the exploding enemies? So you guys are saying that you would use a Discord server to basically to follow up on the stuff that is raised here in chat and that kind of thing, huh? I mean, I guess I could set one up. People were going to be find it that useful. I didn't know people would get so much, you know, so much use out of it, but okay. I basically just go to Discord when I have to. <laughs> Alright, is this... Am I facing the right... No. Wait. Access Magnuson's cache. Oh, it's way over here. Okay. Wow, I was way off. Yeah, right? This is a pretty friendly community here. Oh my. What have we done? Uh, hello? Project whatever. Uh, hello. Uh, here we go. Thank you, Z1. Okay, Enclave. I'm messing with the wrong guy. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. We, uh, I suppose we got to check the corpse of that crazy boss, right? Crazy boss ghoul. He came at me here. Z1 shot him down somewhere. But that wasn't him, right? No. Cool abomination. Okay. Oh wait, there he is. Ooh. Sort of. Oh. Wow, what uh what happened here, buddy? Yeah. Okay, well that is quite the experimental ghoul then, isn't it? Let's... Ooh, we leveled up somewhere in there, huh? Okay. 
Okay, sure. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I suppose we could always use more health, uh, more sneak, maybe even just some more basic stuff. Maybe agility. Okay. Wait, Minute Man Supply Cash. Where? Uh, hi? Huh? <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna try something crazy. We've lost them, you mean we took them out. Okay, so this is the this is the one we're looking for. Okay. It's just a settler like living in this incredibly messed up cemetery, huh? Okay, there's our hatch. Good point, Dom. Okay, I should be able to set something like that up. Presumably. Oh boy. Well, this is this is creepy. Never, you know, never put it past King Gath to be creepy. How is there Hold up. It's down. And it's... That way. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, okay, so somebody died sleeping here in the mausoleum. William Shippard. Was this always here? Is this like a normal Fallout thing? Is this vanilla or is this not? Because it feels like maybe it's not. William Shippard. I wonder what that's a reference to, you know? Sledgehammer. Okay. I mean, there don't appear to be any enemies down here yet. Okay. Okay, we're definitely closer to the cache now, aren't we? Let's freshen up our health in case there's a fight coming up. I don't know if there is. Warning, you are in violation of a security zone. Use of legal force is imminent. Moonlight's burning. Yeah. Z1's always roasting me. Everybody's always talking about museum quality pieces. 
Talking about how much I like the old stuff. Oh, okay. Okay. There's a gun there, he said. Take it. Steno. Yes. Oh. Armor penetration plus a chance to stun, and it's one of these induction guns? Well, okay then. That's fun. The cash box. I mean, I don't care about all this stuff, but... Like 12 telephones? Wait, am I supposed to take all of it? I mean, look at this. It's... I mean, it's useful-ish, but... Let's play this thing. I think I've heard enough. I believe I'll have to pass on your imaginative project. Thank you very much for your time. Susie, please send up by three o'clock. Right away, Mr. Mallard. Mr. Mallard. Now, hold your horses. Every other senior staff member has already signed off on this. Dr. Gray even called it the most important initiative ever proposed. I hear from some foppish hmm. dope, no less, that Robco isn't interested in what would be my greatest project to date. Tell me, Sonny Boy, were you dropped on your head much as a child? <laughs> Mr. Magnuson. Dr. Magnuson. <clears throat> Doctor. To be blunt, I just can't imagine why Robco should fund something so radical. Such things are better left to companies like Vault Tech. Vault Tech? Americans deserve better than anything they could cobble together. Hmm. Humanity shouldn't be hidden underground like rats in a maze. Dr. Magnus, please. Your project proposal is simply too far fetched. Okay. Now I'm very busy, so if you Ambitious, right, Dom. yes, but far-fetched. Your CEO didn't seem to think so. Wait, you've spoken to... Oh, many times. He and I are old school buddies. It was his idea that I bring the project to Robco in the first place. He just needed you to sign off on it. But I suppose I'll just have to head back to Vegas. Vegas. Let him know the bad news. I doubt he'll be happy with all this wasted time. Ooh, you know, hold on, hold on. Um, maybe I just didn't uh, fully grasp your proposal. But uh, for reflection, I can see why this would be something Robco should pursue. Wow. Yes, uh, I'll just uh, sign the contracts now. <laughs> Spine of steel, eh, okay, Mallard? Hmm? What? Oh, nothing. Now, since we're all sorted, I'll write up this a, a long of audio. resources I'll be requiring. Oh, and if you speak to Robert, tell him Carl hopes his refrigerator is running. He'll know what it means. Okay, we'll play another one, I guess. Brand ASAM sensors, America's number one sensor solution. And is there anything here we really need to take? Ha! Hmm? Oh, once Not again, right. Dullard, you demonstrate your ignorance. I'm afraid you've wasted your time showing me this concept pitch of yours. The ASAM sensors, as you've dubbed them, are but one small part of my project. And I've no interest in turning them into a commercial labor substitute for Robco. Hmm. Magnus, you misunderstand. This wasn't a concept pitch for your approval. No, that was an advertisement for an authorized new product. We've already begun pre-production. Hey, we're even in talks to partner with Voltec. Hence the presence oh, wow. of their chief procurement officer. So Magnuson gave Robco this what tech, and about, Robco man? turned around and, I told you know, you went the profiteering expected something of value in return for your funding mm. but since you were unwilling or incapable one of your staff instead took the initiative 
refining mm. your research into something practical. You know, perhaps at this, we can finally Project stop Celine. some of the losses from funding your cockamamie Project Celine. Weird. Now you listen here. No, Mr. Magnuson, you listen. As the clause in subsection 5 of your contract dictates, with the delivery of any viable product, a contractor's employee is open to amendment or conclusion. With mm -hmm. a product now delivered by your research, I declare your contract terms fulfilled. How dare you bastardize my work with this, this half-baked product! You know what's coming. We must see my project What did he have in mind, like a geck? We hope you've enjoyed your time working for Robco Industries. You have an hour to gather your belongings and break in the premises. <sighs> okay. So they gave us a weapons workbench here. I guess we could... Take all this stuff and just put it in there, right? Kind of makes you wonder what we can do with this steno. We can keep traveling as much as you want. I don't require sleep or food in order to survive. Mm hmm. Charging barrel, huh? Oh, it requires charge up time. Hmm. We can take this to a different workbench, that's fine. Oh, although I do kind of want these gold bars back and the pre war money back. There we go, that's good enough. Alright, well this was some kind of... Some kind of cool bunker down here. It looks like it belonged to Magnuson at some point. Right? What do we think of that? Yeah, yeah I agree Dom. This recording is where it all started. And it looks though like Vault Tech was busy, like Robco was partnering with Vault Tech, but Vault Tech was busy trying to rip off this technology f all for itself. It didn't want to have to partner with Robco, so Vault Tech was sort of double crossing Robco, who had double crossed Magnuson, and both of them had like slightly worse, what, what did Magnuson call it, bastardized versions of Magnuson's vision, so. Oh wait, I just realized. Oh, it's find the steno and other supplies. <sighs> well, I did, so... So... Ten Pines Bluff is under attack, but it's not the kind of attack that... Okay, so there's... You know what, guys? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to the castle. And we will uh, use the workbench there to kind of mess with this steno gun. It seems pretty cool. There was a third tape, Gwystorm. I did see that. I figured we got the first one and the last one. Uh... Where Magnuson gets Robco to help him, and then we got the last one where Robco basically steals his product for something else they wanted and kicks him off of it. And I guess the middle tape might have provided what Magnuson's original vision was to us, but I <laughs> I got lazy and I didn't grab it because I figured we could fill in the blanks in between. <laughs> yep, twenty seventy seven moment. Let's see. Uh, if people want me to go back for that third tape, I'll do it. 
Okay, we the boosted powerful receiver is cool and everything, but it the fire rate drops way down. Um, so I've been going with powerful receivers on these induction guns because the fire rate stays higher. Boosted. Better critical shot damage and accuracy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I still think this is the better call. Um, hello? Okay, there we go. Wait. Uh, hold on. What? Now it's not... Hang on. What happened there? What happened there? It lost its... It lost its legendary status. can't even see it now. Uh-oh. Uh... <sighs> Great. I guess I shouldn't mess with it, huh? I guess we'll play that third tape, too. Right, yeah, I remember that Inquisitor. I remember vault Tech was trying to steal the Robco design, tried to steal an entire um, com hub, couldn't get one, tried to put one to, you know, and, and had a half-baked version of their own. Right. Yeah, so, and it sounds like these ASAMs that we've been having so much success with are like a a very limited version of what this Magnuson guy wanted them to be from the sounds of it. We'll listen to that other tape, since I'm going to go back for the steno and not try to, adapt, you know, modify it, I guess. Uh, yeah. Hello? It will load eventually. We know that. We know that. Oh, don't worry, Inquisitor. We're gonna we're gonna play the middle tape. Uh the one where probably Magnus and chances are Magnus and talks about what he wants it to be somewhere in that middle tape, I guess. So I guess it's worth playing. Real 2077 will look? Good question, Z1. I mean, I'll be old as dirt by the time that date rolls around, so I may never see it. I have to be in my 90s by then. No thanks. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'll make it that far, and I don't know if I want to, you know? Okay, come on. What do we got going here? You know, Dom did ask a pertinent question a little while ago about all this running around is fun, but uh, what does it mean for the actual like viability of this playthrough? Right? I mean, if I can't... If I can't um, go to the HQ, really... Uh, you know, if going to the HQ means that's the end of the road, because <laughs> nothing else can happen. What? Hmm. Then, um, 
then is this even worth doing, right? If, if we're really just prolonging the inevitable wall that we'll hit, if there is no way that we actually will be able to pursue this very far, right? I guess I have to figure that out. Uh, okay. I don't need that sledgehammer, but I will. <clears throat> Warning, you are in violation of a security zone. What's with the sentry bot voice? Like Moonlight's burning. Oh. There's no sentry bot here, right? Okay, here's the tape we didn't play. Well, okay. I guess I grabbed it without... Audio log, there we are. you to the labs yet again this must it's be the guy Mallard. who took his stuff oh no this As is Mallard. You well know. oh is that yes. so very sorry hard to remember name this morning oh, on my that. desk well you see i, I was, was going to read it but what then the i realized it was happened. penned by a gaggle Safe of gibbering boobs who know nothing I about anything so i sent it back to someone who'd appreciate no such fueling hogwash i did attach what? a note with some suggestions though Ah, yes. The crude drawings. Very amusing. Hmm. Yes, I thought so. <sighs> Magnuson. I don't like repeating Okay, myself. something weird's going on. Surprising you do it so often, then. But, as I said before, the board has agreed to fund this project of yours, but they still expect you to provide something of immediate value in return. We can't see it, and it doesn't seem to have any... Survey and activity monitoring sensor. This... Any description. This is something I feel has potential. If you could focus your efforts on its further development... And we can't it more equip it. Streamlined, ...its potential commercial value would increase tenfold. Uh... This will be your final warning, Magnuson. So, I suggest you shape up and... Fix the attitude. Or I may have to revisit your contract with Rocco. Blathering dolt. Right. You shouldn't antagonize him. Why not just give him what he wants? Ah, uh, his threats are as hollow as his head. Mallard's a narrow minded, pin pushing plotter, Jotter. A small man with a small mind simply don't have time to humor his visions of commercial enterprise. Project Selene will progress in the manner I choose. Now, what's the news on the Zax delivery? It does seem like we need a Discord because you guys are chatting, chatting it up. And also, I'm disappointed. We just came all the way back here and now it seems like... like that steno is glitched. I grabbed it, but... It doesn't even, like, it's not even visible. I currently have it equipped. You know? See? Yeah. Okay, let me check something then. Find this then on other supplies. I don't have to take them all, right? It didn't really... It didn't fulfill the 
the quest even when I did take them all, so... <sighs> well, we're glad you're here too, Dom. And, uh, Inquisitor, idioms are those very arbitrary figures of speech that we use. Uh, sayings that don't make literal sense, but because you know them, you use them in a way that, you know, makes sense if you're a part of the culture that came up with them. Like, uh, oh, what's an idiom? Let me think. That's a good one. And that was a that was a short life story, Dom, but But hey, I'm glad it has a happy ending. Okay. Does anybody else feel like I need to reload this whole stupid thing? Apparently mm. right, I'm reloading it. Because I'm gonna go down there, I'm gonna pick up the sten steno. Not while the audio thing is playing. In fact, I won't even play the audio thing. We've, we've heard them all. The special book is an idiom. Uh, let me think of an idiom. Um, oh, I don't know, you guys. I feel so brain dead after troubleshooting this thing so much. There are lots of idioms. Uh, something like, um, you know, I got through that by the, uh, by, uh, something like, uh, instead of saying, this barely happened, like I barely passed the test. You could say something like, you know, uh, I passed the test by a hen's tooth. Because chickens don't have teeth, a hen's tooth has to be pretty... almost non-existent, right? But it doesn't literally make sense. You know? Saying something like, crazier than a barrel full of monkeys. Stuff like that. <laughs> vats. Well, those aren't exactly idioms. Like, vats is a... Uh, um, vats is just a... An acronym. Where you take the first letter of each word in the... In the name. Vault... What was that called? Vault activated... Targeting system or something? Right. Yeah, break a leg. That's that's an idiom. True. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're just arbitrary figures of speech that a group of people uses, but that don't make literal sense. So if you speak the language, but you don't know that figure of speech, you will probably be confused by it. Right? Okay, I... Can you guys believe we're back here again? I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this thing. I'm gonna uh, try not to get some kind of glitch version of it <laughs> because I don't I don't already have it right. That wasn't me saving outside the thing, right? No, no, we don't already have it. Okay, just checking. <laughs> I didn't think so. I don't care about the gold bars this time. <laughs> okay, here we go. Excuse me. Warning, you are in violation of a security zone. Use of legal force is imminent. Thank <laughs> you. 
What's going on with Karsten? Moonlight's burning. Okay. Oh, so the Sten Steno isn't here. What happened? It's not even here. It doesn't even exist. That's great. That's not buggy at all. Dang it, we had it once. <laughs> then I tried to do something to it and it disappeared and now it just isn't here at all. Which tells me probably it wasn't modifying it on the weapons workbench that was the problem before. It's probably whatever made it disappear here. This is getting buggy, you guys. And I am getting tired. <laughs> That's a museum quality piece. Feels like... Feels like we were cruising along pretty good. And then this part of... Chapter 3 hit. And suddenly, almost nothing is bug-free. Okay. Yeah, Hydro. Yeah, for sure. It basically describes irrational behavior, which ends with one person falling over a stool. Yeah, memes are... Is that from a meme, Inquisitor? Because if it is, then memes are interesting. They're, they're almost like a... F they're almost like a form of idiom, sort of, in the way we reference them. Uh, I guess I'm not a linguist, or else I might already have a better way of describing it, or a better theory for everybody, but... Okay. Find this Theno and the other supplies. Well, we did that, but of course the um, quest hasn't fulfilled. So, you know what? You know what we'll do? We'll do the thing where we go here... We'll use the city planner thing. We'll just... Go to city manager. Although, it occurs to me, we probably should turn off <laughs> all the quests that aren't highlighted there, right? Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. This one. Cool. We'll just... <sighs> we'll force complete this quest, which isn't a big deal. Um, I feel like this bit, we we get a, we got a sense of what's supposed to happen here, right? But I don't like this trend. I don't like the trend that, that everything's getting buggier and buggier. Like, constantly. And I, I don't know what's doing it, but State of War. But that's not the one I wanted to skip. Right, I know. Uh. Whoa. -oh. This is our only active quest, but it doesn't seem like I can skip it. It seems as though... Seems like only the uh, skip quest thing through this city manager is only for main quests from the sound of it. <sighs> hey Serge, what's up? Guys, I don't know. I don't know if this playthrough has much longer, right? Zero out of three gunner territories. We haven't captured any, huh? I wonder what they mean then. Because, like, 
are the Quincy Ruins Gunner Territories. Somerville Place is somewhere they own now. Scrap Palace? Pioneer Park? Like, are these Gunner Territories? I mean, I honestly don't know. Edge of the Glowing Sea, huh? I mean, Vault 95 is a Gunner Territory. Is that is that what they're talking about? Like, these? Must be. Must be. Because, um... What's his name? The guy whose name starts with an S. He was talking about needing to go out to the edge of the Glowing Sea. He was. I guess I could... Salvador, thank you. Yeah, Salvador was talking about how we need to go to the edge of the Glowing Sea. He must mean we need to capture these gunner territories. Um, probably. I guess we could take some real place while we're at it. We have a way to fast travel pretty close by. We have a, um, a an outpost close enough, I think, to take these places from it. Uh, and the, you know, the GNN. So, I'm guessing we could probably just charge in, do most of the work ourselves, fire the flare, have them show up, but but do the heavy lifting. I'm, I'm thinking we could probably do that to pull that part off. It's the it's this other stuff. It's it's like under one banner. How do we do that? How do we do that? Let's just save this. Would have been fun to use the steno, right? That would have been cool. <laughs> uh, I'm saving it because we're gonna see if we can do the HQ. Let's let's just see. Can we go there? Can we interact with anything there? <laughs> no, there's no Fallout next gen, Surge. You got a good point. They didn't drop next gen, so it's not going to break all our mods, but uh, I don't think I need next gen's help breaking mods, because apparently I've done it myself somehow here to this one. You know what? Ten Pines Bluff can defend itself, I'm pretty sure. Yes, I did, Gremlin. That was one of the other quests I had to force. Uh, I had to force my way through that quest, too, actually. But I did it with console commands. Since it's a side quest, that's probably the only way I could do it. So how do I meet this envoy at the HQ when... Oh my gosh. Right. I guess I forgot. Oh. I am pretty sick of having to fight with this same infestation. Because every time I come into the HQ, it's here. Because I can't leave the HQ, I always end up having to reload. And fighting them doesn't really seem to mean or do much. And now, if you can hear it, I am feeling kind of demoralized about it. For real. Right. Okay, well, I'm gonna see if I can find... See, because I forced... Uh, I forced completed the quest that we were stuck on yesterday, and I never came here, because I can't ever seem to leave here once I'm here. I don't know. And, um... So this is my first time here, technically, as far as the game is concerned, since everything started going wonky. And, but it's about my nine millionth time here, as far as I'm concerned, because I've been back so often. And this morning I woke up early and tried and tried and tried to get, <laughs> to figure out how to get past that thing all on my own. So I am at like hour number, I don't know, a billion, just trying to get past this glitchy stuff in the HQ. And I, I am feeling pretty worn out. Also... It told me to meet these... 
hang on. Maybe I don't have the quest enabled. Under one banner. There we go. Don't care about that. Ten. Okay, cool, cool. Alright, alright, maybe we can do this. Well and okay. Oh, I see the emissary. Look at that. Sweet. We can do this. We just need to apparently we just need to kill the rest of the infestation before we're really going to be able to have a nice chat with the Brotherhood. That's cool. That's cool. We're going to do that. And then we're going to see if we can leave after, you know? That's the real trick. Oops. Lupe. Really? Nobody's, nobody's going to take these guys out, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nope. I want that one. Come on. I oh, didn't kill it, huh? Okay. I don't think we're in combat anymore. I mean, I don't think we're in combat anymore. We'll find out, I suppose. Maybe we'll just initiate this conversation anyway, right? All right. Here we go. Let's get right to it then. Here Shall we go. We? The Brotherhood would like to extend our support to you and your cause. We believe it's time for us to formally work together as allies. It's clear to us the gunners need to be defeated as swiftly as possible. This war mustn't be allowed to end in their favor. Together, we'll make them pay for their crimes. Yes. I'm honored, Elder. We'll accept it. Is it is with great pride. We call you a true ally of the wow. Brotherhood. Interesting goggles. We'll start diverting supplies from Boston Airport right away. You can also expect a steady supply of soldiers to help assist you and your people. Ooh, I'm liking the sound of this. Myself or Elder Maxon will be at your disposal to offer guidance and the resources of the Brotherhood. Ad Victorium. Okay. Yes, send in the next, right? Just give me another one. Let's do this all... Let's just do this all at once. I think I have all the factions. I think I... I think they're all still available. Oh, no. Oh, a loading screen. Why did I do that? No, it's... It's okay. It would have got me eventually anyway. <sighs> Maybe this will load. But... When I'm in HQ, it, ever since yesterday, anytime anything has to load, it just doesn't. You know, like any transition, any any movement from one room to another that goes through a door, any fast travel in or out, any save screen that, you know, pauses and needs to, has its own little moment to load. Mm -mm. I get the strong feeling this was the end of what we could do here. Because this isn't going to load. <sighs> yeah, there's still sounds. It's, you know, sometimes there are. Wait, wait. You've it's coming it. back. <laughs> crippled our enemies. Okay. And secured a okay. You just got to be patient, maybe, with this particular loading. Better future is all I ever wanted. Mm -hmm. Then you've justified Father's faith in you, and proven that he made the right choice when he named you as his successor. Speaking of which, now that you're the leader of the institute, there's a I'm cautiously optimistic. Consider. The railroad and the Brotherhood have been beaten, but not eradicated. We're likely oh. to encounter pockets of resistance from time to time, and we can't allow them okay, to organize. Okay, X6. You are kind of out of the loop, buddy. Uh. I've had enough of fighting. Let's have some peace for a change. I can appreciate the sentiment, but I'm not sure our enemies will feel the same. In any case... You should take time to enjoy your victory and honor your son's memory. That's what I intend to do. Okay, okay, X6. That's cool, man. 
Director, do you have a moment? Hello, it's good to meet you. I'm Ambassador Sullivan, Institute Envoy to the Commonwealth. Nice to meet you. Yeah, we'll be polite. I've been to speak to you on behalf of your division heads. Some Who's have been even left? That perhaps it would be of benefit if we were to I mean, I'm pretty sure Allie's the that only one we left alive. Your group here and the Institute have become colleagues. We work together, share resources and intelligence. We would become allies. We believe an official alliance between our two groups could be the deciding factor in the war against the Gunners. You should accept You know, if I didn't have the subversion mod and I had just done a normal playthrough, I'm just thinking it's cool to know that, like, whichever faction I had decided to run with would be showing up here to back me up in the Sim Settlements stuff. The Institute is the best hope for the future. Let's do this. I mean, I'm going to take all the alliances. Marvelous. I'll get word to the division heads right away. This should be interesting in the meantime, if they we'll all send us, like, yeah, we're going to have Brotherhood of Steel, we're going to have so Synths, everybody's we'll going to, the railroad all mixing. myself are here anytime you require information or need recommendations for your ongoing <laughs> Okay, office. Serge. Good day, Director. From the Caesar's Legion, huh? Ooh, okay. Let's take another meeting. And let's just trust that these little transitions will work out. We're going to give it a minute. We're going to be patient. Thank you, Dom, by the way, for both the moral support and the general, you know, attempt at luck. Here we go. I'm getting tired of waiting. <gasps> okay, Deacon. <laughs> always holding... Seriously, this is the only playthrough I've ever had where he's n always doing this. Just always with the stealth boy sandwich. <sighs> okay. What is it? Hi. I was hoping you'd drop by. Oh. I have someone here who wants to meet you. Hey. I'm from, uh... Sister Railroad Cell. What's Code that mean? name's Ajax. Good to finally meet you in the flesh. Heard a lot about you. Okay. Do you work for the railroad? Yes. Everybody knows and you're supposed to ask know. if he has a Geiger counter. I'm a part of a different cell of the railroad. But don't worry. You don't need to know the specifics. <laughs> okay. I got a weird vibe off this guy. The railroad's always attracted <laughs> Deacon, you showed up with this guy. Crowd. Desdemona's right. They do have a weird mix of people. Nice to meet Let's just go with this one. I'll get straight to the point. Yeah, he's a got some weird colored eyes and but here they're are. a little red. In order to like figure out crying red. Do next, security protocols I agree. between cells were relaxed, allowing limited dialogue. With the institute dealt with, we're reevaluating our ongoing operations. After a lot of talk, some of us feel it's time to leave the shadows. Not completely, of course. Secrecy is still our best weapon. But without the Institute breathing down our necks, now we can afford to be more... public. Uh -huh. Should make relocating synths way easier. Yeah, how about the re me being in charge of the Institute and making them leave you alone? How about that making it easier? Yeah, I'm gonna there ask. Still synths left in the Commonwealth? Well, duh. With the Institute destroyed, I like how Glory is that. I mean, like roleplay-wise, Glory's but asking that question like she doesn't know. Need our assistance. Sure. Uh, so I guess I'll ask. Think of the other groups out there. As I'm sure you know, the railroad is composed of many small teams and individuals. Some prefer a more passive stance, while others have taken a more active role in shaping the Commonwealth. All right. All right. Now, I'm not going to argue which groups I think are right or wrong, but it's clear to all of us which cell got results in the end. Okay. With the Institute gone, what happens to the railroad? The very topic I was sent here to discuss. The Gunners. This war they're waging on the Commonwealth. We don't see it ending well. Not for synths, not for humans, or anything in between. We were pronouncing Usually it Kaiser the here on the, in the audio tapes. 
with what or, the no, not the audio tapes. Uh, Nadine was calling them necessary. Kaiser. That's why Desdemona has recommended the railroad proposes a formal alliance. Okay. With you, she feels there's much we could do to assist each other. Okay, cool. And I tend to agree. Besides, it's past time we gave something back to an agent that's done so much. Hey, I like this. Decent, decent. I'm, I'm, I like the love here. We're gonna okay. accept the Let's railroad to alliance. Good. I'll inform all our agents of the arrangement right away. There's a lot of work ahead of us, but together we'll get there. We'll start diverting supplies and agents immediately, and of course you'll have complete access to our intelligence network and safe houses. Okay. Desdemona will make herself available anytime you require our input. If you okay. need me for anything, just let me know. And if coming on kind of strong, Des. Either Deacon or I will assist instead. All right, I need to report back to my cell. It was good meeting you, Agent. Thank you for everything. <sighs> the next. That has to just be the Minutemen, right? Aren't they the only ones left? The admin Let's find out. I guess uh, if it's not the Minutemen next, I suppose it could be like the CPD or something. I have helped them out a couple times. Kaiser, right. Although, you know, I've always heard Caesar like Julius Caesar, uh, not Kaiser like like the German Kaisers, but... <laughs> Good translation, Dom. Yeah, he was looking a little, uh, he's looking a little rough like he's coming down off something, wasn't he? Oh. Yeah, I don't know how often we'll have to deal with... Oh, sorry, I'm yawning straight into the microphone at you guys, sorry. You guys know you guys know more trivia about this than I do, probably, hey, from the sounds of it. Oh, this the Nightingales. Is amazing. Won't lie, I'm having trouble containing my excitement. Even with everything else you've accomplished, I can barely believe what I'm seeing. Okay. I'm glad you're impressed. You've done nothing but impress since we've met. I might sound like a broken record, but you are an inspiration. And a force to be reckoned you know, with. This place makes it look it like they the just came in out of an absolute downpour. Well. And we didn't even like offer them a feeling this will be a good thing though. A towel. These invading gunners. <laughs> they, they we just heard of them sopping wet into this room Even one after another. Don't attack us. But since this conflict started, we've had to rely on your people for protection. With us settled into the hospital and Cassandra working with you here in HQ, I'd like to make this partnership official. Let everyone know we're on the same team, so to speak. Okay. We'll take care of the Commonwealth together. I'm really beginning to believe that. I can't wait to see what happens next. You and your people are always welcome to our hospital to rest and resupply. And if you need any medics on the field, don't hesitate to ask. Okay. This and if is there's cool. anything you ever need our voice on, I'll be here to advise. I won't take any more of your time. Thanks for seeing This is me. neat. And I mean, I really wish hospital, this playthrough would keep going. Hi. I hope it will, but... Send in the next. Who's next? Must be the CPD or the Minutemen, right? <laughs> oh, Dom. I get the Fiona Apple reference. I get it. I think Fiona Apple's underrated. Just saying. Mm hmm. What? Attention, logistics team. <laughs> Report to the basement. 
Please pick up Good to see you again. Impressive renovation job you've done here. You've clearly got an eye for interior design. Impossible. I can't tell what we do or don't know about Caesar, honestly, at this point, except I have to agree that Hajro's right, he did not live in Caesar's palace in Vegas. Ooh, I like this. What can I say? Some people have just got it. You're probably wondering why I'm here. Yeah. Well, I, I was all set to leave the Commonwealth behind. Told myself it was time to start fresh. But if I'm being honest, really, I was just running away. Okay, okay. I'm listening. But my mom didn't raise a coward. Well, she did. Uh, but that wasn't her fault. <laughs> I kind of like wise. I've come back. And this time, I plan to stick around. Uh, that is, if you'd still like me to work for you. Gordon Ramsay says that Caesar salad came from a restaurant in Mexico. Well, Gordon Ramsay, generally speaking, knows more than I do about food. Glad to have you with me. All right. Glad to be here. Guess I'll go find a cozy spot to call my own. Adios hey, this is kind of neat. See this is kind of neat. Chief. We saved Wise. We invited him to join, and here he comes back. Ready to jump in. Who's Sickle? Sickle is next? Are you kidding me? Ha! Sickle likes human house. Human house big. Wow. Full of blinking machines. <laughs> Good. Oh, wow. Okay, so he's kind of a technophile as far as super mutants go, isn't he? Uh, How'd you end up here? Sickle would speak. Important. Oh. You know gunmen? Gun. Gun Rs. <laughs> they speak to Sickle's <laughs> Gun Rs. <laughs> power. Mate. But only if we fight for them. So here's what I need only to know, Inquisitor. You, What's a Kaiser salad taste like? Men. Smash them! You one of us? No fight. We protect. Sickle, join you here. Help fight gunmen. Yes! Okay, that's cool. Let's 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 ask some follow-up questions of this guy. That's really all you can do for me? Human is friend. Sickle protect friend. Keep safe. Safe from gunmen. Thank you. I'm gonna let everybody That's join. Kind of I mean, Super Dom, if kindness there's a limit, best kindness. Uh, we're gonna hit it. Cycle, go find room to sleep. Big house, maybe big beds. So everybody's gonna be here, huh? Are you telling me Sickle was the last one? That's hilarious. But why not the CPD? I helped them a bunch. I got them their new headquarters at Bad TFL. I can now recruit super mutants from the recruitment radio? Enter take. Well, cool, dude. Thank you. That's actually pretty sweet. An announcement from the admin team. Bring the super mutants in, you know? The bar is open. Let them do... Let them be the, the meat shields. Please <laughs> Push their way in the door. To your non hours. Is it just me or do those look like a couple of hose clamps on his arm? Right? That's what they are. They're just really big hose clamps. I mean, I've never used a hose clamp that size because I don't have a screwdriver big enough to turn it, but that's what that is. That's that's just a big hose clamp. <laughs> huh. Okay. Weird to end it with sickle, I'm not going to lie. Um... Okay. Well, that went well because we transitioned several times. Uh... Oh. It did say I was going to turn off the radio, didn't I? Even though Flight of the Valkyries is occasionally hilarious to have playing. Um, if only I could remember how. That's not it. Uh, well, I don't actually remember how to do that. Uh... 25 people are here, huh? Okay, I got a question then. Military department. We're going to manage this. 
Oh. Uh, hold up. <laughs> because we can't do anything without God mode enabled. Um, so let's let's check. The military department doesn't really have any staff. Let's just see if there's now somebody we can give to them. Because Wise joined, and Sickle apparently joined up, and they're they're here now in the building. So let's just see. Uh, wise. Strength of eight. Yeah, I mean, I'm... I'm going to send him over there, I guess. Uh, and then... I don't see Sickle here. But I swear he said he was going to be hanging out in the building. Um, it doesn't look like there's a specific thing that they need to have. Lily's got barely any strength. I'll send her over there, too. She wasn't really helping anything. Okay. R, accept. <sighs> okay. Okay, Z1. Have a nice night. Oops. Wrong thing. Bum -ba -bum. Oh, oh. Hello, settler. So here's the tricky part. Uh, can we leave? Can we save? You know, we don't know that yet. What was the console command for save? And do we want to save here? <laughs> uh, can somebody help me out with the console command for save again? Because I did totally forget. binoculars okay I get it I get it now I I scout a place and then I can come here and send people from a an outpost to go get it all right oh is Fallout 76 not single player If it's not single player, that's a little rough. I, yeah, I like single player. Um, okay, guys. So, we, to save with console commands, we, we say save and then we just type a name? Was that what people told me before? Save... Uh, and then, was it save or save game? Oh, okay. This must kind of work. I hit enter. It's thinking about it. It definitely thinks I did something legit here, because it's it only chews on a console command when it thinks it's a real command and it's gonna and it's trying to do something with it, so Oof. <laughs> I 
I think we can all agree, though, that if I can't... If I can't save in here or leave the building without it locking up, I don't... I don't know how to play through this. Save game. Well, okay, Dom. You might be right, but it only stalls like this when it thinks I actually told it something. You know? Uh, if it didn't recognize the the phrase save, it would say that it didn't recognize it, like, just right away. Like, basically tell me I don't know what to do with that. And it never has to use much brain power on that response, so maybe it's just save? Save game or save file name. Okay. Save game is not listed in the default list of saves. Load, select character, show all saves. Okay. Okay, thanks, Inquisitor. I mean, I'll do that if I need to. Oops. Bumped my, my desk here. I'll do that if I need to. I mean, GNN1 will be easy to find. The problem is, I'm not sure this is ever going to snap out of it, right? Because I can't... This isn't me. The It's frozen. I can't get out of the command mod, you know, menu or do anything right now. And this this is the real issue, I guess, with the playthrough at this point. Is that I don't know how to... I don't know how to need to do something in the HQ... And, and be able to do it. One thing I could do, this is kind of lame, but one thing I could do is come into the HQ when I have to, like, play through it, know what it says, and then when it won't save or let me leave or anything like that, then just go and force complete it from outside the HQ. And then I would know what each of my decisions, like the little prompts, were actually about. <laughs> but that takes more time, especially with slow loading screens. Well, Inquisitor, it's, you know, it's cool. I, I can I can work with that, but, uh, I don't, I think we're done. I think this was, I think this is where this stopped. So, one question I have to ask myself is how much time am I willing to sink into limping this playthrough as far as I can take it? Even if it is all the way, like... How much time of loading screens and reloading loading screens is this worth? Because <laughs> I love the mod and I really like the gameplay, but I haven't been doing that much gameplay lately. I've been doing this, sitting here, rewatching stuff. Yeah, this is... This is frozen. The music's even stopped at this point. It's... Yeah, I don't think it's going anywhere. <laughs> right. That is true. See, the thing is, guys, if I reload my... Whatever my last save was... Well... If I really reload whatever my last save was, I assume I can force complete this quest and that that will give me choices about whether to accept these alliances, and I will. You know, same difference. But I won't be able to come into the HQ and assign any... Like, I won't be able to put more people in the military department um, ever. And... And anytime I do come back to the HQ, I'll have to fight that same infestation over and over. Because it will be the first time, as far as the game knows, every time. I 
And I do have other things to do with my life than sit here for as many. I sit here looking at loading screens or reloading things almost as long as I'm playing at this point. It's a real question. It's a real question. And, you know, I have to I have to wonder if as an audience, you guys aren't thinking the stream has gotten a little lamer since this stuff started happening, right? I mean, it's a pretty cool stream as long as we're like cruising along, getting stuff done, watching cool cinematics. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm feeling so worn out. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm I'm feeling so worn out. I'm definitely going to watch the Fallout show. I'm going to watch it. I thought about having a watch party here on the channel, but uh, there are so many of them out there. Like Twitch has that huge one that is being sponsored by Amazon um, with li like that has live commentary options and all kinds of stuff. That's not how I'm going to view it, but uh, but I just figured why compete instead? I think I'll watch a couple episodes, maybe, um, maybe put my thoughts together on them one at a time or make a video about, you know, about each episode and my take on it as I go. I don't even know. I don't even know, but I know that this, this, what we're seeing here, this is wearing me out, which is too bad because, you know, I do love our little daily meetups and I love the comments and I love the support and make a lighter load order. Start again. <laughs> I could. I could make a much lighter load order. Yeah, I've heard good things about the first couple episodes. I have. And I generally am on board with that. And I've heard some criticism of the show. But it was it was really criticism of Bethesda's Fallout. Like, a lot of the criticism of the show is are people who don't like that it's not like Fallout 1 and 2. Which might as well be a whole different franchise, honestly, by this point. So... Of course they weren't going to like the series because of course the series won't be based on the old like obsidian fallout stuff. It will be based on the current type fallout stuff. And it takes most of its cues from Fallout 4. And that's that's pretty okay with me obviously. You guys know how into Fallout 4 I am, so I'm not going to be one of the complainers I don't think. I think I'm going to be able to enjoy the series and well I'm ready. I'm ready for it. I would also be ready for this to load, but you can see what I mean. When we're in the HQ, it no amount of patience is ever going to make this work. The music stopped. I think the program's probably unresponsive. And this is what happens to me every time I do something in here and then I go to save or leave or even just change rooms. This was the console command save and I was hoping that was this I was hoping that was a loophole. You know, when somebody suggested it, I was like, maybe, but it doesn't seem immune to the same thing as everybody else. Or everybody else, every other option. Well, thanks, Hadro. <laughs> Good idea. Good idea. I can do that. I can keep the uh laser garand in the mix, Dom. I can. Um, yes. Yes, Serge. I agree. There's less consistency in Fallout 1 and 2. There are these people who can... <laughs> I don't mean to rant. But I feel like there there's a group of people out there who will always be kind of snooty about Fallout 1 and 2 being the real Fallout. And it's like, okay, guys, but when are you going to let go? Because that's not Fallout anymore. And you aren't... Like, there's a point at which you're not a fan of Fallout if all you're going to ever do is criticize every future release always for not being Fallout 1 and 2. And of course they're not. Of course they're not. I don't know what to tell those people about what to do, but I think criticizing all the Fallouts forever isn't really productive. Like at this point, you got to let it go. <laughs> and so I've heard a lot of criticism of the show for embracing all the... <laughs> Everything they say the show embraces that they hate is all the same stuff they say the Bethesda fallouts embrace that they hate. And I, that I think they kind of mischaracterize. Like they call it like corny and goofy and absurd and silly and uh, slapstick. And I'm, I'm sorry, that pops up here and there 
but not really. That's not the main vein of the series. Even in the Fallout 4 version, you know, the most recent, like, standalone, single-player, traditional release of the game. <laughs> well... Right. Right. Some of the rhetoric coming from the developer can get people's feathers ruffled, but... I don't know. If you like Fallout 4, I think you're going to like the series. And also, I'm going to be willing to overlook this small things. I was... I heard somebody hating on the show for... And they listed their reasons, and somehow, high on the list was the fact that the, you know, power armor helmet opens up like this on the T60 in the trailer. <laughs> and it's like if you can't let something like that go, you're you're not going to ever enjoy any adaptation. Every adaptation is going to have some specific practical thing it changes so that it can work in in the new format, you know? It's it's just going to happen. But We'll see. I I don't expect that the series is going to necessarily be like genius and blow my mind and be like better than, I don't know, Game of Thrones or Star Wars or, you know, any, any other beloved franchise that kicks out, you know, good enough, iconic enough sci-fi for us to love. But it might be. I mean, like, I'll give it a shot. And I know, uh, I think I'll just take it as it is. I'm just going to take it how I find it. Like, if it's got good things that I will like, uh, and if it feels like it's doing justice to fall out, then I'll like it. And I won't grouse about how it's not perfect. But. Right, Surge. Yeah. Right. Right. Inquisitor, I'm with you too. Like, the old games and their and their lore, uh, the old games and some you know some of the things they had that the new games don't have anymore. I I am interested in that stuff, um, and I would be interested if the games wanted to bring some of that kind of thing back a little. That'd be fine, but that's not a hill I'm going to die on. Yeah, yeah, Hajro, exactly. If the TV show came in and with a wrecking ball to everything that is consistent about the fallout world then i would not like it and i you know i think we've all experienced game adaptations that do that kind of thing you know book adaptations game adaptations that come in and just ignore the entire thing they're supposedly based on that would be horrible and traumatic and i would hate it <laughs> but i don't i haven't heard those kinds of vibes from the show you know okay Right, right. It, you know, it, you guys are free not to like the show. You are. You are. I guess I'm just putting myself out there as I just want to go on the record as saying I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to give it a shot. It's going to have to prove that it's bad to me, not not prove that it's good. Okay, it's got to do both, but you know what I mean. Like guilty or <laughs> innocent until proven guilty. How about that? It's. I'm going to assume I'll like it until I don't. I'm not going to come in there looking for ways not to like it. I'm going to be looking for ways to enjoy it. And that's that's just because I want to... It's for my own sake. I want to get something out of it that, you know... Maybe that's enough for me about that. I see that you guys have a few chips on your shoulder about uh, past disappointments as well. And I understand that. <laughs> uh well, they are saying the series is, Todd Howard has said he considers the series events canon. So if a Fallout 5 comes out in a future after the series, you can bet there'll be some references and Easter eggs to, to series stuff in there somewhere. Even if it doesn't occur on the same coast, even if we don't see any returning like players, there will be, there will be some references to the events of the series. So we might as well know what they are. Yeah, you guys are bringing up all the stuff that was probably always going to come up either about this 
adaptation or any adaptation because there's they're tricky points. Uh, Eric, no. <laughs> I know, Eric, that you rolled in and uh, helped me out with this city's uh, planner holotape yesterday, and it did help. It got me pretty far. It got me pretty far, but I I still have the issue of anytime I do come to the HQ building, uh, anytime I don't want to f- force complete a quest from outside the HQ, I can't save here like I tried to do, and I can't leave here. I can't can't fast travel out. I can't walk out a door. I can't even travel within the cells inside the HQ. I can't even go to the basement or something like that. It just locks up. It, you know, the game just locks up. It just, whatever loading screen just never loads. And so I've been having a bit of a come to Jesus kind of uh, meeting with myself and the rest of the uh, stream here about whether we can keep going with this playthrough. <sighs> you know, finding workarounds or whether that's not worth it. Cause most of my streams for the last two days have just been glitches. It wasn't always this way. Two days ever since Salvador showed up in chapter three here and introduced some new mechanisms to the war, you know, the, the big war version of things where we have outposts and things like that. Ever since then, glitch, glitch, glitch before that, they were actually not that common. So Anyway, Eric, you did help me get a lot further. I've gotten a ways further into chapter three because of the, you know, your suggestions, but I don't know if it's going to get me all the way there to the end zone, you know? Yeah, I should be running the most recent version. I really should. Because uh, I had, I <laughs> just to get this whole playthrough started, I, and, and I think, oh yeah, just to get chapter three started, I ended up re-downloading Sim Settlement's I got rid of the all-in-one bundle and re-downloaded it as three different chapters, you know, not that long ago at all. Oh, yeah, right. Um, I'm not having a lot of fun in the last couple of days. There have been some moments, sure, but it's really frustrating, Dom, so... That's kind of what I'm talking about. Load the extra mods that are preferred to help with scripting issues. I mean, I I took the optional mods that were available in the Nexus download of Sim Settlements 3. Like I I grabbed patches and stuff that I saw there. Um if there's some patch that's not on the Sim Settlements pages, uh, then I could have missed one. <laughs> Thanks, Inquisitor. You're right. I'm mentally, I'm mentally ready for frost. <laughs> Just come into frost burnt out, and then what can it do to me, right? On the SS2 wiki, maybe. Uh, maybe Eric. I can't remember what the SS2 wiki recommended, but I might have. I might have seen it. I might have grabbed it. I don't even remember anymore. Uh, right. We got a couple discussions going, and I do. Res- I definitely respect the series discussion going on in the background, and I really appreciate Eric rolling in and you know for the second time in two days seeing if he can fix my problems um, with a few questions. Worked pretty well yesterday. So, Eric, since you are asking me about the wiki, and since your suggestions have been so solid so far, uh, I will check the wiki. I will double check. I'll double check whether there's stuff there on the Fallout or on the Sim Settlements wiki suggestions that might help me out that I don't already have in play. And if they fix this, then we're back in business. Um, but I'm not going to do it on stream. Okay. Uh, I'm too tired, too tired. And the fallout series is going to be live in like an hour and a half. So there's some mods it hates. Okay. I could have some of them. I don't have, I mostly have a uh, faction overhaul mods. Like that's a, most of my load order is faction overhaul mods, some weapon mods, very few, very few, like really fundamental mods, but who knows? 
Okay, guys, I think I'm going to jump off. This is, you guys have been great as usual, and your company is what makes this tolerable, even when it's really wearing me out and frustrating me. Also, your suggestions usually have gotten me this far, right? Story mods. Well, I mean, I've got America Rising 2, but I did, I do have a patch for SS2 and AR2 that I hoped had me covered. Um... That's my biggest, probably my biggest story-based mod. And then I do have Start Me Up, but I didn't use it. Like I uh, I opted to be a vault dweller, not not do any of the role-play-ish Start Me Up stuff, I think. So, <sighs> right. Yes, thank you, Serge. That is an important lesson. And I've had to learn it before. I think like basically on the channel, I've had to learn it before. There have been a couple of times when a mod goofed on me and I was like, I don't know what's going on, guys. And I I just had ignored the requirements. It's it's happened. Okay, I will try the wiki again. I'll look, I will. I'll look. I'll look just to see. And if I really want to finish some settlements, it might come down to me lightening my load order seeing which mods are obvious conflicts, you know, things like that. And then coming through this thing a little more vanilla, you know, it might be fine to do that. So I'll try to find the mod no-nos <laughs> here on like round 10. Well, thanks, Eric. You, I feel like you're speaking from a place of experience then for sure. Okay, thank yeah, Inquisitor, thanks guys. I, I hate to let everybody down, but honestly, this playthrough's starting to drag so much I don't know. I don't want all these live streams to be a majority of loading screens. I can't I can't handle it myself. I don't think you guys should have to. So Yeah. I'd love to finish it. It's it's getting pretty epic. Um, but these new mechanics introduced in this outpost phase they seem to have ground this thing to a bit of a halt. Yeah, right, or I'll just find something else to stream. <laughs> All right, well, you know, <laughs> thank you guys. You, you were really supportive and also just an awesome community to be jumping on here with all the time. Um, and that means I don't want to let streams go. Like, I don't want to let streaming go. Uh, I, I need to get back to making, like, more of my standard videos, so... I, I probably need a little bit more balance between streaming and the standard videos, but I want to find something worthy of your time to put on here and have fun with for with everybody. So, yeah. I mean, it occurs to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Fallout London is probably the next big thing to stream, right? Honestly. But you guys would probably have fun if I just, uh, if I came up with just another, a different, decently sized quest-based mod and played it through, you know? Heck, you guys would probably have fun if we were just playing through America Rising 2 again. <laughs> I mean, chances are, right? So uh, I will figure something out. But this playthrough, maybe maybe it's time for me to face reality. And I might have to call it. But I'll check the wiki first, Eric. Thank you. If you saved yours, I'm sure I can save mine. Other people have finished Chapter 3. It can't be. <laughs> it's got to be on my end that something's up. up but Okay. Okay. Yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah, that's true, Serge. You guys are half the fun is why it works with any stream. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm I'm going to jump off, and I'm going to eat something, and I'm going to try to, like, relax, let my hair down, and uh, and then enjoy the series. I'm a little... Yeah, later, Raider. Exactly, Dom. Yeah. We'll see you guys, okay? And I hope you guys get a chance to watch it soon, too. Okay? Otherwise, you you might hear some spoilers from me or something, but I'll, I'll try to warn you. All right, guys. I'm going to jump off. Thank you all so much for being here. Looks to me like this particular uh, moment is probably lost to us. Yep. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, guys. You know, we'll pivot. I'll find something that's going to work. I'll, I'll find something less buggy or I'll fix this. And one way or another, there'll, 
There'll be more. Okay. I'm just tired. That's all. All right. Bye, guys. And Frost. Surge, stop it with Frost. You know, you know that won't, <laughs> you know that won't help my mood right now. All right, guys.